Yeah, so 6.30. Got someone else coming in. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm Paula Wheeler of Life Design, and we have been working on a study of this building, Rochester Elementary, and Rochester High School, and this is just a progress report. Feel free to interrupt with questions if you can't see something or can't read something, but just this is kind of the glossing over, and we aren't trying to dive into details of why is this safe and why it's not. But I love that progress report. Ask questions. So, um, our process is the first thing we try to come up with is a program. What um, what spaces you need in each building? Uh, how many square feet do you need for a cafeteria slash PE space? And do you need more? For example, this space, which is a cafeteria space, a PE space, a music space, and an art space. The multi gym, the, the cafe gymatorium, we call yes. it. Yes, <laughs> it's maybe a little overburdened. So we account for that in this spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet for this school, the three seven school. And it tells you how many square feet are in each room, and who goes in each room. And then it has some lines. If you can't hear me because I'm talking to the screen, I'm sorry. Caller, I'll try and talk to you instead. Um, for space, we might need, we don't have any space for art designated in our storage. We have this, which is also designated as PE. And so we said we could probably use a classroom size space for art and music. And you see, when we look at music, we we're saying we're going to combine that with art because we don't need an art room and a music room for this school but they each might want their own storage. And so, I'm learning this here. You uh, mean a navigate? You mean scroll. Right there, okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah. All right. So, as you go on through, we say, in this school also, special educator, kind of towards the top. Right now, the special educator lives in the hallway. They really want to around. Nurse is another one in the school. So we've gone through this school and the other and Rochester Elementary, space by space. Do you have enough square footage? The other thing that we do here is over here, these numbers over here, and this description is from way back when when the ed department used to say you should have this many square feet for a classroom per student and you should have this many square feet for a music room and we use that just to kind of check it's not a rule of law it's more of a you know gosh you guys are asking for an awful lot of space for music are you really sure you need that kind of thing um, or, you know, hey, you don't have anywhere near enough space for what the Ed Department says for this, so you might want to consider it. So that is kind of our, our check. And as it comes down in the end, we start to see, okay, we think here at... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. We think here at Stockbridge, and it's kind of hard to navigate through the chart, we think this number here, this is 2,128, that's how much space we think you need in addition to what you have. So in the sort of ideal world, first blush, don't take this as sentence, don't either, but we think you've got 7,798 square feet. And we think you need a couple thousand more. Um, and we did the same thing at Rochester and came up with more complicated things because Rochester, you have two buildings. So I can run through kind of where we went with Stockbridge, um, and then we can talk about Rochester, because that's what it's confusing. So, so let, let me ask you a question about 2,000 something feet. That's what you're saying we need based on the data, not what we're saying we need. That is what, so all of our data, all of our square footage is based on our conversations with Lindy and Bonnie and their conversations with their teachers and whoever else needs to have input. We are not saying, gosh, this school really needs an auditorium because that's not mine to say. I'm listening to the principals who are saying, and maybe we're egging them out a little bit and saying, you know, really, do you want to do everything in this 
room, and maybe you need some more storage for the stuff that's out on the porch. Um, or on the stairwell that out. And there's some things where you know you really should move the things out of the hallways for code reasons. So yeah, we're we're pushing them a little bit, but for the most part we're taking what we get. But it's also based on the guidelines too, not just what the principals are telling me, right? Yes, I mean we it's based a little bit on the department guidelines, it's based a little bit on decades of doing this and seeing a whole lot of schools, particularly in the state, knowing what they all do. So we're, we're kind of keeping within normal in what we're suggesting. Okay. And it, so it, it's more of a best, best practices, you know, kind of a, yeah. a, a population that's similar to yours, mm -hmm. should have space like this. The, the yeah. ed agency says, or, or the Department of Education now, or Agency of Education, yeah. they're the agency now. The ed agency says you should have these kinds of spaces, you know, in about this much room for this many kids. Right. Um, you're, 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 you're taking their input as what they do and how they're using the building and, and their discussions of what they don't like about the building, what they wish they had, but in a, you know, in, 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 in not a, you know, sitting on Santa's knee sort of, sort of tone. It's more of a, it's more of a you know, of, 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 of an analysis of, 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 of I don't think there was ever a Santa's knee. <laughs> Just being real, it was very realistic conversation yeah. about right. like, well, I mean, yeah. she, made, she makes a very good point with her, with her thing saying, we're not saying you need an auditorium no. here. Right, exactly. You know, we're, being, we're saying you might want to not have special education happening in the hallway. That would be a good That would be the dream. One of the goals, yes. <laughs> So, so we've got a program. Um, the next thing that we did was um, the committee tasked us with documenting the existing buildings. You have three buildings that you kind of had some floor plans here and there, and some are old, and some were projects that didn't happen in Rochester. So we came out here and measured each of the buildings, based some stuff on the old drawings, and now we have Revit models which can be made into AutoCAD plans and PDFs of each of the three buildings, which is going to be very helpful as we go. Yeah. Then, Art and music. Is that all? Yeah, but they've always done that. 
So why and we have less students. Maybe so we're right. not maybe we're to give a little Yeah, I think sure. a little So this yeah. is so what we're doing here, this is this is uh, the uh, uh, engineering consultant firm that we hired to analyze all three all three buildings okay. to look at to, to, to look at space utilization, to look at student population, to look at educational needs and They've got an assessment of, of all, all the three buildings, okay. um, and we're hearing a, a, a preliminary report on them. Okay. These are recommendations that are based on, you know, a, a, um, before you came in, she was mentioning that, uh, you know, she's basing the recommendations on uh, similar Vermont schools with our population, on Department of Education recommendations, uh, 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 needs. Um, you know, and then also their experience with with going through and, and analyzing uh, schools. This is this is all preliminary. This is this is just you know one of the things that we had said when we came together was that we were going to uh, get a real analysis. Like one of the things she said before this as well, before she started talking about uh, recommendations, is they're bringing in the engineers to actually generate the plans, the specs, the things that we never really have had for this building or the two Rochester buildings so we can really make an informed decision about how to best use the space and how to best educate the kids. So that's that's sort of what we're, we're in the middle of and that's where she's saying, based on her interviews with the principals and their work with the staff and looking at uh, state guidelines for space utilization and all that, this is what the, the, this is what they're saying, and one of the things they're saying is that, in general, uh, a multi-purpose space is more of a two usage thing, and not a and not and not a more. Doing special education in the halls is not, you know, really appropriate. And she, well, I, mean, I was about to ask you because you had mentioned code issues, that you know you you're making recommendations based on code. You haven't found any major code violations, or have you? Not found any life safety violations. Okay. ADA violations. Yeah. Nothing earth shattering. Not, I mean, obviously you have students who are making it work, um, but there are things that we would recommend to do better for ADA. Okay. Um, right, and this is also the beginning of a lot more conversation. Right, a lot. Right, this, this is giving us a yeah. baseline of where are we, where are our buildings, right. then in terms, yeah, where right. what we're going to do in terms right. of maintenance. We'll be doing, you know, in our study, you know, this is just sort of like I said, this is the progress report. Right, eventually and, and we're going to have a laundry list. We're going to have another Excel spreadsheet of here are what we recognize as deficiencies or needs. And here's a price we think it might be. And then we might kind of lump them and say, okay, here's kind of a baseline. Like for this building, a baseline might not involve an addition. It might involve a few ADA upgrades. It might involve some ventilation stuff. Um, and then we would do kind of, okay, here's one up for that, and here's the journey. And you know, what's the total cost for up that we think it might be for that? And then you can start your planning and saying, okay, dream is out. We can't pass that, and you know, figure out where you might stand, or maybe Dream is in here and it's not our option. That's for you guys to sort out once we've given you the information. So that's that's what we're here. Are they figuring in the population decrease as you go along? Will that be part of the study? We are aware of what the population is doing, um, and I think I think what we're doing is. The programmatic piece, there's there's only so much with, with small populations you have that you're going to cut back in programmatic needs. So I think, yes, we're considering it. I don't think it's going to have a huge impact on where we land with, with the options we give you. It may have an impact on what you choose to do with it. OK, I have one more question. <laughs> But I get that you're just looking into this. But I guess I still don't understand when my kids were here, we had 20 kids in the classroom, and 18 in another, and 16 in another. And now we are so little, we can, and I know we do more, but we can't make it work. And why are we even considering adding on in this times where the, I, I wouldn't understand that. 
we're, we're not necessarily considering anything. The point of this survey isn't to, 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 to decide about adding on. The point of the survey is to, to analyze the buildings and recognize deficiencies and recognize strengths so that we make, you know, we, we have the information to make decisions about, you know, what grades are in what building and, 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 and who's where and, and, and where it goes. And yeah, you know, um, we certainly made it work. At one point in time, we actually uh, we had a major fire code violation when for some reason they decided they could teach art upstairs in the crawl space. So, I mean, some of the things we did were really bad. Some of the things we did, we did because we had to. Um, but I think what we're looking at here, and I think it's important to remember, is that this study is, you know, a dispassionate analysis of, you know, in a, in, in, based on other Vermont schools, this is what we think you know, this is what the, they have in terms of having a dedicated art room, of having a, a special education space or a, a, a timeout space or some of the other things that different schools have. We're not necessarily going to going to do anything of of of, of, of what they're saying, but we need to we need to an, you know not just make blueprints but analyze the spaces as well. So that's what that that's what we're hearing about it, now is just their preliminary. Ventilation. I, it might just be something like ventilation or ventilation. Right. Could that is likely going to be one of our recommendations? It's it's making informed decisions. We'll be able to make informed decisions about things because we'll know what we have. And, and it goes towards like our boilers, our everything that runs our schools behind all the walls. We need to, we don't have like an idea of the conditions that each of our buildings are on in. So we're we need to be able to make decisions from a point of reference. So going having Black River do this will give us, you know. A, a, a wealth of knowledge to know, you know, this heater hasn't been upgraded, this, this system isn't working. Like, we need to get on a path to maintain and not just be fixing, you know, giant holes when they just, you know, in emergency situations. And this is where things get interesting. This okay. school, quite honestly, in this study is pretty simple, but when we start talking about the two buildings in Rochester, yeah. And that's where you get all kinds of crisscrossing options yeah. and things that, you know, we need to do, or you as, you know, a board and a community are going to need to figure out. Because you've got two buildings and one school. And right now, so in this why. building, which is Rochester Elementary School, you have some needs that don't fit in that, that you're using the high school for. And that is not seen as ideal. So we are looking at, okay, in this building, we did the same exercise, programmatically, what's in this building? And in that program, there's several lines that are, this art room, this music room, is located in the high school, the auditorium, which granted, K-6 doesn't really use an auditorium like it's at the high school, but it's used. So in this school, we have similar
for what is it for? Well, that is for music, art. Um, there was some, uh, I'm getting off the top of my head, some office needs, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's not going to tell you, that's the other one. Um, the one thing that happens over the the one thing, one thing the after school program happens over the next I think the after school was going to overlap with the other classroom space. Um, there was going to be, there was some need that would kind of need to reorganize space within the building. Um, I think that was where music and art. Music and art was primary. There was some library space that needed to be. Do they have a cafeteria like us? So they put their music and art like us in their cafeteria like we did? They are cafeteria for that gym. Gym so you like ours, it would be gym, cafeteria, music, all in that. Right, but again, we're yeah. having we're having an analysis done I'm of what you know what comparable uh, schools of our size and, 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 and scope have and, right. and what the Department of Education recommends. Right. Yes, we could put them in the in, in, in the gym, that's certainly that's and certainly an option. Right. But we're 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 looking at you know what's what's the uh, best practice for a school of our numbers? Yeah, and there is some there are some things that the community is going to have to weigh in. Like the gym is used by the community as well, and if you put art storage and music storage and all that, make it an elementary school art music room, is it going to be functional for the local volleyball team? Conversations to be had. It is a huge packet. Nothing is going to be decided fast. Just tell me. Tough stuff to me. Yes. What? These drawings are cool. The other building's got the art room, the music room, and, and the auditorium. Um, you're packing the one building to the guilds, there's room in the other. So in this drawing, is this, have we moved the kitchen? To, or are the kids still going across the, 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 the road to the gym or the thing? Or is there, or are we, is this, you're, 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 I just clarification here. Um, the, the purpose of this report, I, I, I thought was, and I'm sorry for being late, but uh, I thought was just to tell us what you found, not to necessarily make any recommendations, because that is a much bigger process. And she is not. She oh, is okay. Not. She is okay. Not. She is, there, what, what, she is, what she is looking at, okay. I'm sorry, Ethan. Um, what she's yeah. looking at is we have, she's looking at the standards and best practices of Vermont schools okay. of our size. And she's looking at, you know, they in general have 
Like uh, they don't have a, a four or five purpose room, they have at most a two purpose room. They have uh, spaces for special education. They have spaces for, for art and music. Okay, they have so a certain amount of libraries. So what she's looking at is when she looks at those scales, for example, you missed earlier, mm -hmm. there needs to be about 2,000, by, by, by those numbers, Stockbridge would be best served by adding 2,300 2, some square feet somewhere, like behind this wall mm -hmm. or over there at the end of the library. But that, again, she's just telling us. Right. And oh, that's okay. just, that's, that's okay. just, it, it just, yeah. So I just, that, sounding just, like it was recommendations that no, were no, no, not no, no. here. It's just, it's just fitting, our, yeah. fitting the gotcha. needs of a school of our size into these buildings. Gotcha. And what are the buildings, you know, can it work or are there deficits that need to be corrected? Thank they don't you. really have the mechanical system stuff done yet, but they've done the space analysis stuff because that's gotcha. the stuff you can do with with uh, measuring tapes and and and, and, and uh, drafting software and all. Okay. And what what so what they said was they thought if we stayed in Stockbridge, we should have two thousand some more more square feet. So special education is not in the hall. Right. And we have a dedicated art and music room. Satisfied, I think. Um, okay. Good. Yeah, I, stayed, I got it. Earlier, if we stayed in the elementary school, we'd have to add 3,500 square feet to the elementary school to move the art, you know, you lose the, the, the auditorium completely. Mm -hmm. You move the art room over, there's some more office space and some other space rearranging needs. I think the library would have to change. So to move everything into the Rochester Elementary, her summary was by that kind of analysis, by just, just space analysis, that building would need 3,500 more square feet. Mm -hmm. And then what she just was saying as she came in was that if you take the high school building, you can, you know, because remember we had the question of one building's got the cafeteria, one building's got the auditorium, an art room. She was saying that you can, in, in, in this building, uh, there's, not a, there's not an addition being proposed. There's just a repurposing of some space. The apparently, the, if I understood you correctly, the elementary school can completely fit into the current building envelope at the high school. Is that what, that's, what we were saying? Right that's yeah. where you yeah. were right now. Good. No, I said you were uh, that somewhere. Yeah. Right. So you're, you're turning that part into a kitchen and then we'll use like the big old library space or something like that as a gym space. Yeah. Because we don't really need a formal high school gym anymore. We just got... Well, I think you were saying that the, 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 she was saying the cafeteria could be cafeteria. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you could put it Okay. And we're not making any decisions about this. No, 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 no. I just wanted to make that point very clear to everybody that we're not making any decisions. We're making decisions tonight, right? No. Bruce, Bruce, I think you just got fired. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. And this is. I've been kind of focusing on the program stuff because quite honestly it's got pictures and I can show you spreadsheets and things and you know we do have a preliminary mechanical report and some of it I'm a little hesitant to say here's what it is because right. you know right now mechanically it looks like Rochester High School is going to be a lot of work compared to Rochester, or Rochester Elementary School is going to be a lot of work compared to the high school but until I really start to look at what is asbestos abatement and the replacements and a lot of other stuff that's going to be pulled into getting one building up to where it ought to be and other building up to where it ought to be to say which one makes more sense. That's going to be up to you, but we don't have the data yet, and I couldn't tell you right now which way it wants to lean. And um, how much longer are you going to be working on this to get? get that completed report? We are looking at, I think, the end of the month. Right. Okay. Good. So another update coming to fourth. And we can, we can get this. We can get some of this material so that we can have. That's we can report out at our, at our annual meeting, meeting where we where we are. We don't necessarily need you guys to come and do a big formal thing, but we would like to be able to. Yeah. Well, we want to have that happen when it's done, done. Not on you know, and we don't want to change That's it. That you, cool. What you Excellent. Want. Yeah, I don't think we're, I don't think we're gonna try to send that out in the in the booklet because no. that's we don't want to turn turn that around that quickly. But I think we want to definitely talk about that at our annual meeting. Absolutely. And there are some things that mentioned. You know, we'll have our piece done at the end of the month, but um, we want to have some asbestos testing done, and we're not going to do that until the kids are out of the building. So okay. the core of this whole thing is going to lack. Right. No, and and thank you for thinking of our students in that way. <laughs> That is the point, after all. Although probably a lot of the kids would love to wear a little asbestos abatement suit for a day. <laughs> they are for kindergarten outdoor. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good reading. Stuff put into it.
Thank you for giving us a uh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, and oh, one, one, I do have one question. Now, as far as the final report, do you, do you envision you know, uh, just, just coming to a board meeting and reporting out to us? Or, or, I don't remember. I, I know that. You guys need to decide. There's two ways we've talked about. There's the committee that initially selected the firm from all the RFPs that they met with at the very beginning of this. Right. Who they can come back and report out to there and then just make sure it has everything before they come to the board, full board, on the floor. It's kind of what you're thinking, but if you want something different, you just need to let us know so they can. Okay, no, I think that, I think, I think that, that, that so sounds good. So the committee first. Right. To double check to make sure it's everything. Right, and we've, and we've got all yeah. our board questions answered and then we can, we can have them attend the, form, the, the formal board meeting, deliver the final report. And we can have, uh, because we've had that committee meeting ahead of time, we can have materials prepared for distribution and all that sort of stuff. You're okay Excellent. with those steps, then that's what we can do. Um, that sounds reasonable. Is that some, I think, uh, I think we are. Taking guys down. Yes. So, thank you. Where are we, by the way? Did this go? We had just heard this report. This yes. Uh, we wanted to public comment. We wanted to let her get. Yeah. 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 Are we in public? Yeah. 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 All right, uh, so we can uh, go to the consent agenda. We have uh, minutes attached for the uh, April 2nd meeting. Any questions? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. April 8th. Seven minutes. Moved. Seven minutes. Moved. Seven minutes. Seconded. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to approve the uh, meetings of April 2nd uh, and April 8th. I did not. See anything that uh, seemed untoward? Yeah, I, I um, read through them today. Yeah, Maybe likes it. I just read it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I said anything. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all those in favor of improving the uh, uh, minutes for April second and April eighth, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed. The minutes are uh, approved. All right. Um, we can go into the uh, uh, board reports. Board. You're up. So, a um, couple things to report. I am sorry I'm a couple minutes late. Uh, we are interviewing for a new principal in Sharon. Uh, Barrett's leaving, and uh, we just saw two, two candidates tonight, um, two more on uh, Friday, and uh, we'll see where we are after that. We feel like we're kind of a little bit late, but that's why I was late, because we were in interviews. This is not, the, he's just staying to the end of the year. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, we are um, through the um, policy adoption. 46 policies we now have. They're on the website and, and have been approved. There are a couple little wrinkles. And I will be asking for uh, a delegate from this committee, uh, from this board, to serve on that policy committee. It should become a standing committee of the board as we go forward, as we have other needs. Uh, but there are a couple policies. One is facilities use and uh, there's another one uh, that had, didn't come through the policy adoption process unscathed. There were some tweaks that need to happen. And <coughs> in a conversation with Steve Dale I had a couple days ago, um, he was pretty emphatic that that policy committee needs to come together and see if they can rectify this so that we can all agree to a version. So we don't have to have a certain policy for a certain board that we can all come to consensus on the wording so that we don't have to go there. 
not that that's not an option. I guess it could be down the road, but it's not a first option. It should be something we try to kind of merge together and, and make that work. <coughs> um, things are, are really, 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 really busy in the office right now, and I'm, <coughs> we've got all kinds of different things going on, all kinds of initiatives. Uh, we're deep into hiring everywhere. Uh, we've given people extensions who have asked for them <coughs> until the 13th of uh, May. At that point, they're going to have to turn in their contracts <coughs> so that we can figure out what we need and try to to uh, figure out, you know, who we're going to hire in their place. <coughs> There's nothing like it was last year. Last year during the summer, we, for the spring and summer, we hired 40 new people, 40 new teachers. And I kind of felt like all summer long, that's all we did was hire, hire, hire. And uh, <coughs> this year, it's not going to be anything like that. Um, not that you're interested, but the Royalton and Bethel uh, revote will be happening Monday. Uh, Monday. We had an informational hearing last night, um, and we're working on that. <coughs> I don't, what's, your, what's your feeling? I don't think, well, as you know, the first budget was passed. It was a slim margin, and it was challenged because of the slim. There were also, also were not many people at the meeting at all. And so uh, I would expect that, um, uh, I, I would expect we're going to be OK. There haven't been uh, a whole host of people at our meetings. Um, that's kind of good and kind of bad to get, try to forecast whether or not there's what they're interested in. Uh, it's the bad part is that if they're not there and getting information, we're going to have to provide a lot of information on the night of the, of the vote. I'm not really uh, that worried about it. Uh, um, what else? Um, I'm going to be uh, pinch hitting in Rochester um, on Thursday morning uh, for Bonnie. And then I think Lindy will be taking over from there. Uh, we've all kind of been assigned times, so uh, that'll be uh, part of what I'll be doing this week uh, while Bonnie's away. And we're not anticipating anything. It's just good to have presence around. And uh, I've done this before, so. Um, I, um, <coughs> we have the, uh, I'll remind you that we have the uh, board training coming up at uh, Lake Maury on the 15th. It's really for board chairs, but anybody can go if they want to go and, and uh, be a part of that. Uh, as you know, by Vermont law, you have to have a certain amount of training every year. Um, chairs. Hours, chairs do, and uh, but this is open, so uh, please, please come. Um, I didn't bring it tonight, but I do have some um, new materials for you guys uh, as far as handbooks and things that the VPA or the VSBA puts out and uh, it's good to do this kind of so I will be bringing them and getting you up to date with some of that. I don't think the laws have changed that much. Uh, so uh, we did had a couple outdated copies 2016. I don't think it's a whole lot of difference between those and now, but we're having to order some new ones. So we'll, we'll try to get it. Um, at your next meeting on the 4th of June, I will be late uh, coming back from North Carolina. I'm going down to see my family again. And uh, I will probably just be a little bit late to the meeting, but I'll make sure your paperwork gets to the meeting ahead of me. And uh, it'll be fine. Thank you. I have a, have yeah. a safe trip. Thank you. Uh, Carl, uh, one issue that I'm sorry I forgot to put on the agenda, but we really should address tonight is um, uh, excess grant money held by the town that used to be used for the high school. People have asked about it. I sent out the email. It's uh, the not the grant money, um, gifts, uh, scholarship. The scholarship. 
money. Okay. We haven't found a solid answer about that, yeah. and these people are asking in graduations okay, right. approaching. Can talk to Bonnie a little bit about that? Um, okay. I just, so we can, can, we, can we add that at this? I know that's sort of out of <laughs> sequence, but is it possible to add this at some point tonight? Discussion item? Just because it's timely, because by the next time we meet, it'll be almost graduation. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, Surplus. Seven two. Seven two. Absolutely. Thank you. Do you like also scholarship funds? Scholarship funds, yeah, both. Uh, <coughs> yeah, an award. Yeah. Uh, and that's more what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I'd like to add to the discussion items. And it's more of a, just a question for Bruce. Um, I got an email from someone from Rochester saying that because Act, 40, Act 46 offered um, towns that were merging assistance for these kind of building analysis and that those funds were offered to be at least paid for by partially by the state. I just want to kind of, I don't know if it's a discussion <coughs> item down there. We just want to talk about it now. So you. The, the executive board made a decision. You had merger funds left, basically, uh, eighty-two or eighty-three thousand dollars that was left. The, the question was, how much of it's yours? How much of it's Royaltons and Bethels? How much of it's the That's first bad. branch yep. folks? And and do Sharon and Stock and and uh, Stratford get any of it? Uh, because they went through the motions, they didn't ever merge, but they did do a yeah, study. Yeah, and Hancock. So we put, the, the executive board made the decision to put that money away for student use. Uh, okay. And nobody's asked for it yet. Uh, I think we're trying to figure out that if we, is it first come, first serve? <laughs> do we, do you want to pay for a trip for your kids in the future? Um, how much of that? is your share uh, and nobody's really defined any of those things so we haven't used right. it yeah Royalton and Royalton and Bethel did we're talking about it because they made a they did a fifth grade trip to nature's classroom in, in Maine and took all their fifth graders down there together both buildings and uh, kind of had them get together kind of a thing they didn't end up using that money but they talked about it Right. So I'm a little afraid that I'm gonna that that we're gonna do something that's gonna take their share and your share too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know how we settle this. I think it's maybe an executive board decision. We had, we had talked about this, and this is the thing that Ginger did not produce because she was asked to do this uh, when during her tenure as business manager. But we had asked to see um, what that would work out in terms of in in in, in terms of uh, like. Different scenarios. We asked her to model it based on on, on pupil costs uh, or on a pupil count, rather. Um, you know, and the the feeling, at least in that conversation, has been in general that you know it needs to go. It's not just here's a check. So if Stratford or, or, or Sharon had had um, some something merger related that they had paid for, some analysis or something, you know. That, that they could they were certainly eligible to submit for that but that once all the bills have been paid because that was the other question is had everyone you know gotten the you know had Steve Dale gotten his check and yeah. all those various other parts of the, the merger well, you, we had to pay attorneys fees with them but the right. 82 or 83 thousand got put away so that's now. The, that is that's that, what's that, that, that we, we we're, we're sure that that number is yeah. we've paid all the expenses yeah then the, the, the conversation had been they should just go to the districts that merged for their post merger you know activities which if, if Bethel and Wilson wanted to use whatever their share would be to do to defray the cost of that trip they could we could use our share to defray some of the costs of uh, Black Rivers analysis of our buildings um, you know whatever Chelsea and Tubridge felt that you know was merge related that they were doing post merger that they should pay for we were waiting for the business office to say here's how it's modeled by student count you know or yeah something well like that to so there, there was another meeting uh, I don't I know I know several of the people that are around the table, but not all, probably not everybody, and it was the, of the executive board. And they decided, because they couldn't really figure out how to do this, they decided to put it away for kids. 
for, for student things, trips, activities, materials, sure. playground it's equipment, still, whatever. It's still yeah. to get divided. That's as far as we went. Yeah. So it's sure. still so sitting it's, there waiting for the mechanism. Right. And I, I just think we, well, the thing I knew I, I had not seen was like just a breakdown of. No, I don't think it was hey, ever done, the, Carl. No, I don't think you, it was. I know you asked for it because I was at the meeting, but. <laughs> I just wrote it down. I'll get so on cool. the I mean, everyone that. That would be awesome. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So, so the answer to the question is so never fear. Your the money's it, there. Yeah. I just right. Just no, so. but and, and it's a it's a it's a it's a good question. So is there a timeline of when it's going to come up? How we can apply to use the funds? I think all that mechanism needs to be worked out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we on, is that an executive board? Right. The, the SU executive board. I don't know. Well, if we have to have all of you in the room and have you agree. <laughs> <laughs> it may not necessarily be an executive board. Maybe we bring it to the next full board meeting. Sure. What's that? I mean, we should, if we could have it for the next SU meeting, we could yeah, it can put be it on the agenda, bang out a decision, and, and, and get, the, you know, get the, the, the checks cut. And I'm sure, you know, if it's for I've kids, ten I bet you Bonnie yeah. can really right, spend right, that yeah. money really. Yeah, well, that's what I'm afraid of. I is that you know, it's going to be the boards that are making this decision. Well, well, we need to, I think it's, that money was set aside, and I think it's, I think we need to make sure that all of the campuses and the districts get their, their cut so we can apply it for our students the way we can. You know, I'm not making the decision. No, you're not. <laughs> you're no, not. I was saying we need to see to get it on. You yeah. need to get, get it on the You the can't make this about money. I can't money. make that. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> you like this, right? I do. But well, thank you. I will let that, um, that town person know. So, yes, I will get on that. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, uh, good. Yeah. Other than the poor formatting. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that happened when I downloaded it. Um, mine came out fine. Oh. Okay. I mean, yes, it's just the way it printed. Oh. Okay. Well, it's mine. Really? It's mine. It's mine. I got a weird one, too. Oh, yours is on my seat, too. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking. 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 Um, there were two other schools there besides Rochester and Stockton students, and all of the schools there had school choice starting in seventh grade. So it was a great opportunity. The kids nice. weren't all, there were a couple kids from each building kind of grouped together. They do it, and you don't get a say in it. And so it was a good opportunity for them to kind of have conversations like that. So that was interesting. Um, uh, year end assessments have begun, a wide variety. From about earlier to um, just benchmark assessments as well. Um, our fourth grade also, both Rochester and Stockbridge fourth grade over on Tuesday the 30th and did the ropes course together. And that's kind of the first time that they've gotten to do a lot together, just those, that grade without an older or younger grade attached. Um, and then, um, Joanne Mills has helped me organize uh, Drive One for Your School fundraiser for both Rochester and Stockbridge um, together. And we're going to have the kiddos there helping, as well as the PTOs are working together to staff up a big sale. Is there more information as to what that is? Because it might be a familiar um, fundraiser for Stockbridge, but I'm not sure if people in Rochester are aware of what, uh, what it you is. Come and can be involved in it. Right, you come and you test, you fill out a form yeah. and you mm -hmm. test drive a car, yeah. and for every one person from a house, yeah. right? Yeah. For every form that completed in person that comes does a test drive, you get $20. Very nice. Right? Very nice. Um, is there a way we can get that, put that information someplace in Rochester? Yep, we just got posters today. Okay. All, Ford supplies all the advertising materials, so you're going to just drop those off today. Uh, if you remind me, I'll, I'll take one with me and put it in the Gainesville Post Office. Okay. That <laughs> Which one? Okay. I was thinking the Mustang. Yeah, there you go. I'll be coming to that. We have one of those here. <laughs> um, so those are kind of the highlights. And like Bruce alluded to, it starts the time of year where Bonnie has to be with her grandchildren a couple days a week. So that means um, Rochester people know they can always reach me by phone.
but also I'll be spending some time over there in coordination with when our guidance counselor is here. Okay, I was going to say we're recording that with Mary. Yeah, yep. to, we worked out a coordination schedule so teachers know where to go if they can't. That's awesome. Me. Thank you. And vice versa. Over yep. in Rochester. Can you explain what the fifth grade forum is? Uh, I can try. So the fifth grade forum has been organized by our wellness committee. Is that the right committee? Um, and it's this opportunity for all the fifth graders in that supervisory union to get together. And they cool. have a team building activity. They're divided into groups. They have a team building activity. They have a, phys yeah, phys like a physical act, you know, like physically active together. Uh, the activity and like a, like how to take care of themselves. Yeah, like an emotional health activity and then like a, a vision, like a planning. So it's like four or five stations, and they rotate among them, have lunch together. Cool. All those things. It's this Thursday. And so that's all in fifth graders Rockford. in our entire SU? All the fifth graders that's in our entire idea. SU. Mm -hmm. Nice. How many is that? That I've got. Uh, 157, I think, something like that. It happens to be a large fifth grade class this year. So. Bruce, can I put in my sense? I think this is great. There should be more SU gathering. I think that's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Huh? We're looking forward to it. Again, this year. It's always been very, very good. Uh, I think it's I think a great. The only, the only school that isn't sending somebody is Newton because they've got some testing problems, mm -hmm. but everybody else will be there. So cool. it's a good time developmentally for them to start meeting their peers, to extend their social um, network. Mm -hmm. So makes sense. Any uh, other questions for Lindy? All right, Tara, you. I don't really. I'm stopping. Sixth grade. Uh, June 14th. Hopefully 1:30. Don't don't hold me. We haven't sent it to sixth grade parents yet. <laughs> We're gonna hear first. Um, that's the plan right now. But I'm still learning about all the graduation and the festivities are to make sure there's adequate amount of time. It's a larger. Are there any additional questions that have come up on the approved FY20 budget for your meeting? I think. <laughs> well, other than why we're supposed to be uh, accepting the can. Um, no, I think it's. I think it's good. I just want to make sure you didn't have anything else. Um, I didn't have anything new to add to it. <laughs> I learned the software last week. It's super exciting. Okay. <laughs> I got to say that she's growing with leaps and bounds. Uh, Excellent. And, and loves what well, she seems to be what she's doing, except when I come into the office. And <laughs> it's like a scolds, cloud that she follows She scolds him. me <laughs> whatever I'm doing, you know, so it didn't take long for that to happen. But, uh, That's good. We can hear it all the way on the other side of the building. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. It's bad today. Yeah, it was a bad day. Yeah. Yes. Um, are there actually yes. copies? Yes. Yes. No, I wanted to uh, do that for you. Yeah. I, yeah. Do, uh, these four uh, I don't have, I just have my written up all notes all over it. It's, I have it electronically. Um, I can, yes, yeah, so I know. I, I, I can have a copy that you sent me. I can have a page number on it. Yeah. Do you want uh, a copy of that? You got one there? I think she's got the same, right? All of this. Yes. And that's it. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. So you do that. Well, well you do that. Why don't you, uh, Jenny, give us the literacy okay. report, and then uh, we can go into the budget discussion. Okay. I thought, um, well, one of the things that you said, and, and Bonnie confirmed in research, is that those school boards that concentrate on student achievement get student achievement. Hmm. And so I want us all to be knowledgeable school board. Why we do what we do to make sure that this school board concentrates on student achievement. That's our major focus. That's how we can support. I think we can do that, I know we can do that in two ways. The first way we can do it is through professional development. And I'm, I'm going to start over for a minute. Any kind of research, because everything I'm going to be doing with you from now on, if you let me, involves either effective professional development 
or an effective instructional tool. Because we can support. What's the second one? Instructional tool. Instructional tool. I don't call it a reading program or a oh. process. It's an instructional tool designed to teach all our children. And if it's data driven, tool. then it's based on the science of teaching and learning. Okay. So, sorry, the, the first one is professional development. Professional development. And what's effective. Yep. And then the materials we use to. Mm -hmm. Any research that I give you guys, and I want you to know when you look at, when we're going to start to look at research again, if you let me do this. Absolutely. The tools to use. The instructional tools. Is this your pitch to get us to say we want you to do this? <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm already on board. I was yeah, on board yeah. a month ago, uh, ago or two so or three or four. So any research I give you is what's called a meta-analysis. That means it's the gold standard of research. Okay. It's not one school. It's not one classroom. It's not a three-year study. Meta-analysis means 175,000 communities, 25,000 children. There's a control study. It goes on for 15 years. You know the control of these kids had it and these kids didn't. You know pre and post after, you know everything. It's the meta-analysis. It's not what I call just a genius story. It's not just, wow, that school did really well. No, I don't want to know that. I want to know that this is a pattern across all schools that are struggling. And what did I read? With 44% proficiency? They're struggling. They're struggling. Are we the lowest in the district? Uh, I don't want to say that at a public meeting. Oh, oh come on. We you're you're right up there with, with <laughs> right. in that area. It's the a place to sit. On, on the whole, it's is a not place. Doing well. No, we're not, and that's more the reason why we're we're taking this direction. And I do appreciate the sure. direction. <laughs> I, I've uh, really gotten Mary Ellen to kind of follow you around, <laughs> so, so you're not dangerous. <laughs> oh, she's still dangerous. She'll always we, uh, be dangerous. Do we have any more of those? Or I want to make sure. It's okay. It's fine. We can you want, send. Guys, do you want to look at this? Uh, I, Additional I evidence for Ian Dragon and compensation. Um, have we gotten a vote to certify special education teacher here yet, or is this our Specifically in Rochester and Stockbridge. No, it, that's a Deb Matthews question. Uh, she doesn't happen to be here, but. She's the one that told me that my kids were being taught by the local members. So. <coughs> there is a, it's one of her goals to try to, to um, get more people teaching Wilson uh, in the whole SU. So, and because we talked about it oh, two weeks ago, probably, that this is what she was aiming at. Um, so, I know that that's the plan. That was five years of meeting. Well, I know. I know. Well, I don't know that, but uh, I guess I, I had the conversation with her. Can I just, well, I'm not going to do this first year anymore that we're at that time. It's not really effective. But how weird is it? Well, the Wilson method, and I talked to Jane yesterday, and she's like, well, it's the Memphis. One of my twins started in seventh grade in Woodstock not being able to read at all. And after being told that he was going to be taught the Wilson Method, Woodstock has the Wilson Method, which is why I chose that school. Thank you for choice. <laughs> um, and he's now in ninth grade and is reading at a seventh grade level after um, one and a, or two and a half years. So when I say you need the Wilson Method, I'm not just talking. I'm just saying you really, really need it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. I think that guy was with literacy. That's why I waited. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you waiting for me? <laughs> um, okay. So this is a meta-analysis. It's done by Joyce and Showers. Um, it's probably the most accepted meta-analysis in terms of what is effective professional development. And they're now calling it professional learning experiences for teachers. They changed the name. Not anything about it, but just the name. Um, what Joyce and Showers did was they put different training steps. So what would happen if teachers went for theory and discussion? That means for me, for example, when I conducted a training, it would be the theory of explicit instruction, 
and there would be a discussion about the research because I'd want the teachers to know the why and what they were doing. Then the next training step would be there'd be theory and discussion, and they would add a demonstration. So we had videos of teachers teaching the program so everyone could have a common <coughs> schema, background knowledge as to what they were looking at. Then to those two steps, the next step would be practice and feedback. So there was role play. We made the teachers pick up a book, we modeled what we wanted them to do, we led them through it, and then we tested them. And if they didn't do it the right way, we started over, okay? So it was a real feedback and training. And then, every single month, there would be coaching. We would go back into the classrooms, we would sit next to the teacher as that teacher was teaching, and there was a step-by-step -step what we call clinical coaching process, active intervention. So the teacher would be teaching something. The first step is to say, is to give a blow, is to do something that the teacher did well, because otherwise they're not going to listen to you. And be very specific, because you want them to repeat that behavior. I love the way you gathered the group together. I love the way all the kids are looking at you. Boy, I really like the way you, whatever. The second thing is to say, what happened? You can't just give them a book and say, so tell me what you think you need. Let me, and sit in the back of the room and watch them. If they thought they knew what they needed, they wouldn't be making a mistake, okay? So they need you to be actively telling them what happened. Here's what happened. The students stopped between the sounds, and therefore they couldn't get the appropriate word. They didn't know how to play. I'm going to show them what to do. May I have the book? The coach then does what any coach does, teaches a lesson for the teacher, and then gives the book back and tests that particular skill. At the end of which, there's a teacher support form. The teacher knows what they did well and need to make A and what they need to improve. Is this in front of students? This is in front of students, and we okay. set that up. We set that up, and so mm -hmm. as before the whole coaching, coaching process begins, you say to the kids, and of course this is before I said we retired, so who was your ma favorite uh, basketball player? Back then it was Magic Johnson, does that date me anymore? And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the kids would say, you know, that Magic Johnson, we had a guy on the side who was telling Magic Johnson what to do. Oh, that's the coach. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to do. And your teacher wants to help you so badly that they are willing to be coached in front of you so yeah. you part of this process. Yeah, because that's I would I could see there'd be some resistance from some teachers that's why looking we're like a, all, a second string mm, right. or something see, it in says front in of clinicals. All coaches should be <coughs> in modification. You can't just coach an adult learner mm -hmm. without some knowledge of behavior management. Mm -hmm. Because it's a different learner, it's an adult learner. Yeah. So you have to you have to treat it in a different way that you deliver that information. Mm -hmm. This is a joint journey for adults. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you're doing it in a behavioral way. And what you eventually want, what you get, is the teachers will see you walking in the hallway and say, hey, could you just come in here and have the problem? Mm -hmm. Because the rule is every time they leave a classroom, that teacher better be more successful. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's the culture. The learner hasn't learned, the teacher hasn't taught. As simple as that. Now, what Joyce and Showers did was, based on those training components, they measured three different, <coughs> de de if you will, demonstration of skills on the part of the teacher. So they wanted to know what was the knowledge base of the teacher, mm -hmm. what was the skill demonstration base during training, but most important of all, guys, is could they transfer it in the classroom? Mm -hmm. When they got in the classroom, could they transfer those skills? So look, please, because I want us to see, as I said, I want us to see professional <coughs> development as an investment, not an expenditure. But not all professional development is effective. So what are we voting on? Or what will we support? Theory and demonstration. Knowledge goes up. You can sit there for two hours, your knowledge base is a little more about the program. Skill demonstration is only 5%, but look at the use in the classroom. Zero. So forgive me, but a two-day YMR session off campus is not necessarily going to get you the effective professional development that you want that teacher to have, because is it being transferred into the classroom? 
So let's add something. Let's add a demonstration. Everyone sees a video. Everyone sees lessons. Well, the knowledge base goes up to 30% on that. 20% the teachers can demonstrate skill. But again, I'm going to say, look at the use in the classroom. Absolutely no transfers, even <laughs> after seeing a model lesson. There is no transference into the classroom. Practice feedback and training. Again, feedback all the time, corrective feedback. We're practicing, we're role playing. Knowledge base goes up to 60%. Skill demonstration, when they're in that training, boy, they're demonstrating it. They're great, the teachers, 60%. 5% is transference in the classroom because you get kids in front of you, and that's a whole different story, baby. So that's only 5%. Look at the only time that there's transference of skills into the classroom, and that is when clinical coaching persists. That's an interactive coaching. And so that's what we need to support. If we have spent a lot of money on a company, then we need the professional development support on site. And we need them to be trained in that. Now, I will always give you the research behind this. This is not meta-analysis. This is just my, my company, okay, or my ex-company. I'm sorry, guys. I really didn't know what was I would have. We can share so they can yeah. have one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this. Kind of the main stuff. These teachers taught the same program. They taught a program called direct instruction. This is the same Mary Helen here. Oh, oh, oh. I know if I know. Yeah. Oh, two there. These teachers, <clears throat> thank you so much. These teachers taught the same program, the same direct instruction program, a program that is the foundation of everything I do, okay? They both got, both of these group of teachers got what we would call pre-service, we don't call it training. They came for us for five days before they ever taught the program, and we did intensive, corrective, consistent, feedback all for five days, okay? So all of the teachers got that, and they all taught direct instruction. The teachers in red got the coaching. The teachers in, in um, yellow did not get the coaching. Same program, same pre-service. The teachers in red who got the coaching, they made 12 months of gain for eight months of instruction. And the others made, what, four months of gain? And the difference was the coaching. They used mm -hmm. the same program, the same training. And the coaching same you're talking about is that in the clinical coaching, in classroom. Yup, in coaching. classroom. Let me take the book out of your hands and show you a more successful way to do with that kid. Because everyone, that's the focus. It's the kid. Now, why do we want that, guys? Why is this an investment and not an expenditure? And why must we be knowledge about this? I certainly don't need to be excluded. What, when you say those two terms, can you just define what you're saying between the difference between investment and expenditure? I see investment as something that will grow and is important that will come back to us. Expenditure is going out. We have gotcha. to see it time. You're going to do you it. Burn the propane tank. Yeah, all your it's empty. Is, 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 is and, 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 and here's why, Ethan. Let's look at this. And okay. This is a meta-analysis. Mm -hmm. This is done by Dr. Marzano, by Dr. Robert Marzano. And what he did was a meta-analysis, that means all across, years, all right? What he did was he took a kid at an average percentile, so a kid at a 50th percentile, a group of kids at the 50th percentile. And he said, OK, let's see what would happen if we took that kid at the 50th percentile and then after two years checked out where they would be. So let's look at the first one, guys. It's the average school with the average teacher that kid's at the 50th percentile, all right? Mm -hmm. The kid's at the 50th percentile. I want to see. I'm looking there. Sorry, I'm not the reading. reading. The kid's at the 50th percentile. After two years, those kids moved to the least effective to school and the least effective teacher. After two years, they, love, they, they regress. 47 percentile points. 
So the next year they go to the most effective school, guys, most effective school, but the least effective teacher. After two years, they still drop 13%. Most effective school, but it's the least effective teacher. The, the four is obvious, most effective school, most effective teacher, you know where they are. What's, what's your definition of effective in this sense? You have the leadership, you have the parent support, you have the materials, gotcha. you have the interventionists, you have the facility, you have the most effective school possible. The materials. And it still sucks after you have a least effective school teacher. You're still losing those 13 percentiles. Most effective school, most effective teacher, that's obvious. The last one, look at the last one, because that's what we need to support effective professional development. The least effective school, guys, no leadership, no programs, no support, and that teacher still gains 13% of points, because that's the critical thing in the classroom, the quality of the teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I hear you. <laughs> Jenny, do you want to give some reference to these guys why we're bringing? Because I think with the, the new literacy program, we have some concerns about our teachers having the professional development for this new literacy program. So we're just trying to make sure that. So I'd like to say something. I'm the director of curriculum for the supervisory union. And Janie and I have had a couple of conversations. I'm sure we'll have more. But we <laughs> both agree that this focus on reading is one of the, um, I don't know, I don't Keystone. All right, thank you. One of the yeah. keystone um, for our future for kids. We're, we're really focusing on what we do as educators, is get kids to be better at reading. And we have a professional development plan that includes coaching in the classroom. So it's exactly what Jane was talking about here. Um, we have it focused on a goal. We want all students to be literate and numerate by grade three. Mm -hmm. We have um, coaching over an extended period of time. It's not going to be like you go in once and then you leave and you don't come back out again. And it, it's embedded with corrective feedback. So it's exactly well, gonna, what she said. I'm going to talk to you because I know what you went through. Mm -hmm. And I have spent 54 years of supporting parents who have gone through what you have gone through. You shouldn't have to do that, Leslie. Well, and I'm here to tell you, this is a supervisory unit, and we disagree. I've been down there two times. He can't stand me. <laughs> <laughs> we are holding the, this, this supervisory union is the exception, unfortunately, to the rule. They want student achievement. Mm -hmm. They are focused on literacy. You did not have that. You I did not have that. The whole been there. They all said you're going to have. I'm telling you, we're going to do it. I'm telling you. Nice I, 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 I will. I will not get off the board until it's done. Yeah. I'm too happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coach under right contract. The go and meet with, um, Did she say? Across the whole no, I'm talking about Amy Toth. So they kind of, so if somebody from the supervisory unit, they go to a different school, like every week. <coughs> every day. Every day. Every day. She's in there. Well, she not every day. Every, every day. week. Every day. But she, she no, it's she's, she's, except for those two days. For her, she's fulfilling someone who's retiring, and she's part of the deal that she's going to be here mm -hmm. two and a half years. So she's actually already been here coaching with our teachers, just making sure they're getting that assessment right. So we're getting the data and stopping and setting it because she was here yesterday. 
And do what I'm going to do for the next for the next time, for the next few times is I'm going to do curriculum. I'm going to show what an instructional tool should be comprised of, and then match it to what was chosen and see. <coughs> Jeannie will be on the agenda for the next number of years. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So what we can be educated. Yeah. So can we see a coaching plan? We should. I mean, it'd be great to see yeah. a coaching plan of how it's going to be, how it's going to be implemented, what days they're in, what teachers, and maybe be able to get some feedback from those teachers yes, that'd be great. about whether it was effective. We had to present every single month to the school board. When we were on site, the school board approved whether the consultants were coming in or not. Mm -hmm. We had to prove to the school we had to have a report. Yep. We had to demonstrate. We had to have a school board day when they watched us coaching. So I like Amy, that. Amy's, Amy Toth's boss is you, correct, or you? Both. Both. Okay, that's interesting. Um, uh, but I'm just she's curious. My, she's my teacher and coach yes. when she's because okay. we get. Uh, she'll be working more. and she'll be working with with Mary Ellen. Right. Okay. Primarily. I just I think it I think it's important. This is a great idea, and you brought it here, and it's great. I just think it's very important. It's very clear how that's broken out so that we can get some feedback oh. on on its yeah. effectiveness and. Um, can you well, give us? Well, yeah. no, 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 we are. Goal is, is, um, the goals I, mean, I, love, I love hearing what everyone is saying because this is exactly yes. what we're doing. All yeah. of we you. We are starting with collecting data. We're going to be tracking the data. All, You're all of be you. Hearing reports on. It. Awesome. Well, well, hopefully, we're not going to be having the testing of the students. Okay. Yeah. Really the yeah. That's a big part. That'll be, you know, I mean, there'll be triangulation, so there'll be multiple data points that we're going to look at. We. You, you guys have a right to be skeptical about this, whether we're going to be successful. You really do, because mm -hmm. I know that there's been a lot of lip service that hasn't come to any fruition in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm not proud of where we are right now at all, and that's why uh, we've really gone in this direction. Uh, but, you know, I'm, we're ramping up. We're trying to get the teachers enthusiastic trying to get the principals enthusiastic and working together. Um, Amy's now been visible in all the buildings. She's actually doing some preliminary work this year for next year. And uh, we do have a game plan. Uh, Mary Ellen and, and Amy have been working on that. Actually, she gave it to, to us when she was really applying for the position. This is what I would do, I will do, if I come there. And, and I, you know, I've, we evaluated that and uh, and interviewed her several times, uh, talked about it, and uh, so we, you know, the, what you're asking for is on paper. It, it may not be in its final form yet, but it's well. There is on paper. one other issue, and this is Janie's big issue, is that we have already bought this one program, and Janie doesn't feel it's well. One, it's the right program or the best program, and two, that it's um, good. They're giving us the support yeah. that they should for having purchased this expensive program, correct? I mean, those are yes. the two issues mm -hmm. between you two. Um, we have already purchased the program, right? We have. So it's that's done. So yeah, we, and we, that's, and we that, didn't. We didn't do it in a vacuum. Well, no, no, no. That's yeah. not, I'm, that, I, that by saying done, that means that's it. We don't need. We can't really talk about that, and I need you to hear that too, because no, I think because I think we, we can't just jettison and re-pull back the two hundred thousand no, plus. But we can when we and Mary Ellen and I talked about this last yeah. Thursday, and I hope it still exists. That I still hope that I will be able to have input when we go further with the tier two program mm -hmm. and more curriculum, because no, I have serious. Objectives. Yeah, but I think but I think at some point we do have to accept. What right, we have, and then have to accept that we're getting no professional development. No, no, that's 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 the second part. I'm saying that we 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 have that's something we can do something about now. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Oh, I read the minutes. So our yeah. focus our focus is on the general classroom, right? And Jamie is saying that we not only have to focus on the general classroom, but we have to do intervention and tier three, which is our special education. 
we, again, we agree 100% that that has to happen. It has to be all three of them have to happen. We're focusing on the general question first. But see, and my concern is that the major part of our population is 44% that are not at level. Uh, 60, 50, 50, 50, 56. And I also believe very, and, 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 but I don't want to get into this, but I believe that a program should be written on the skills you want the learner to have. You don't write a program based on the learner. Whether my learner is disabled or, or bright, I still want them to be able to sound out and blend and only go from left to right and comprehend and be fluid. So I'm going to base a scientific tool based on those skills, and then I will adjust it according to the rate, to where they're placed, etc. So no, I want, we have to go into the curriculum but, I'm, but guys, again, and I'm going to be the biggest math here. I'm so happy to do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most supervisory unions are not listening to this. He's going to be talking about the furnace. I mean, that's what's going to happen. And mm -hmm. they're not. They're, mm -hmm. I've been down to so, so, I mean, they let me in. I'm sitting here well, you're not screaming well, loud enough because I didn't so hear you. I would have locked the door, but I didn't know when you were coming. So, um, so let me just, I, I need to understand this. Um, we paid the, the, the $200,000 for the Fontes and Pinnell was for this tier one general classroom program. Is that what, I'm, what you're saying? Is about 80% of the kids that we teach. 80%, are okay. So, so we haven't brought in any curriculum, new curriculum program for the tier two and tier three. We have bought materials for tier two as well. Oh, Same tier two is three. Same, Same program, program okay. but it's tier two as well. Okay, so then explain to me, Janie, what you mean by um, what did you say? You Jamie said believes that Fontes and Pinnell should have given us some freebies for all the money that we spent. Yes. That's what she believes. I don't know no. believe it. I've never had it not happen. Well, not that. I've never had that happen. So well, is there any possibility we can go so back? Awesome. And just so you know, okay, okay. they do offer free professional development as far as webinars and as far as uh, information yeah. online that goes that we can tap into. We went to a training. They discounted the rate for us when we went to a training. Mm -hmm. So there is some, but but like Janie said, we don't want to have the teachers go somewhere, hear someone talk for two hours, and that's it. So I, the professional yeah. I was a teacher long enough yeah, to know. And we are investing in. I like that yeah. word. It's going to be the coaching that's going to happen right in the classroom. The okay. teachers are still going to have to make those decisions. This isn't like a cookie cutter approach. You don't open up the page and do one, two, three. The teachers have to look at the students, assess the needs, change their practices based on what's happening in the classroom. So it is, you know, an interactive type of professional development. So I think we need to see how we can get feedback on the effectiveness. Of yeah. The yeah. Yeah. That's yes. my. Every board should have that. You know, is it something that is reported to us every uh, month? Um, is it, you know, we want to be mm -hmm. able to get feedback. How well, as Janie said, she was class. reporting. So, I mean, maybe this is part of. Um, um, we have to sorry, what's her name? Yeah, like the coaches have to. No, say. not the, the, you, uh, the, the woman Amy, we've hired. Amy. Amy, thank you. Amy. We should put into Amy that there's some monthly report. We have a plan oh, okay. for keeping track of everything. Are you kidding? This down. lady's so organized. It's unbelievable. Really no, 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 that's just great. She keeps us all in crazy. chat. Okay. No, no. <laughs> she, she takes minutes when she reads with me. I mean, was she trained in Fontes and Pinnell? Uh, probably, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay, ju the, just the two days? No, 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 no. She, no, didn't, no. she didn't even go with us. No. She's, okay. she, she came with that. Okay. So, she's been, just she, just so, you, so you know, we do have a plan. Mm -hmm. We will do it three times a year. We okay. will give you a detailed report of the growth and the effectiveness of what's yeah. happening, as well as um, regular progress monitoring for those students that need it. So that's an additional uh, check-in assessment type of thing. Good. So for the, I'm so sorry. No, yeah. um, um, the other thing that caught my ear was um, wanting teachers to be enthusiastic about this. Do we know We're yet? There. We're there. We're there. You think? You think spot. all both both buildings. both, both, they both can't buildings? Wait. Wait. They get started. Okay. They can't great. Wait. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Great. That's great. That's, that's great. 
and just that, really, that, right there. that little sheet that you just held oh, up, does yeah. that tell about um, the uh, feedback that you're going to give us? Is that kind of what you just heard? Is there a copy of that if that kind of tells what so I should this, be expecting in the future? So this is the, the uh, pulling together of the assessment results. We purchased an Otis data plan that we're going to collect all of this data and we're going to um, report it through there. Okay. But in the bottom, if you look at it, it's the, uh, in the classroom, weekly collaborative formative assessment meetings with the rapid cycle of inquiry. It's a curriculum jargon, but it's uh, where they meet a pre-plan. This is a document that tells us what the year feedback that you're going to give to us is going to be. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get that more? Yeah, that looks. There are some kids that are like that, 44 percent. So we'll get Amy's going to be working for us. So you know, I'm I mean, to some extent, need, we have you to. Need. You get trust our administrators too, mm -hmm. to that. One you know, we we put the fire, and you guys it yeah. showed is that teachers are not necessarily keeping up to date running records, which is what Mary Ellen is talking about. Meaning some of them need to be caught and know how to do following it. of where kids are and mm -hmm. at the instructional level, the independent, all these different um, levels. I've it written down. She spelled it out for me what I need to see on yeah. everybody's running records. So formative assessments, in other words, yeah. just check regularly where the students are. And then change your teaching practices accordingly to that. John? Is the curriculum purchased for the whole supervisory unit? Yes, yes. Well, then, I mean, just an outside suggestion why don't we use that extra money, the $83,000, $84,000, and use it for something for the whole supervisory union for the new curriculum? I love yeah. that. I mean, wouldn't you like to have eighty-three thousand dollars to spend on? So we've got about. Yeah. No, anyway, we've got a three hundred thousand left that we haven't spent yet, and. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Medicaid. Hold on. <laughs> Shut up! Don't, don't. You don't want him spending that willy-nilly. No, I. The three hundred thousand. The three hundred thousand that's left is is. The, What's is, uh, the, the program is being paid What's for out of, out of uh, federal Medicare uh, reimbursement funds. Medicaid. So Medicaid. Medicaid. Medicaid, Medicaid. sorry. Yeah. Um, um, uh, so uh, the, 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 the SU has uh, around 500 some thousand, 520 something, 530 something um, unallocated because of the because we've spent no, the 200 not that much. Now, but right? No, we had 500 some that was we unallocated. Some. We spend 200 <laughs> some of it on this uh, Fontes and Purnell materials. Pro materials. So we've got, you know, the, when he says there's 300,000, you know, left, it's not necessarily automatically for this project. <laughs> no, 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 no. I we're just we're just trying to to do this in a responsible way, and this is not money that's coming out of your budgets. This is money that we get as a uh, any of the budgets. Uh, this is money Why that aren't you expanding it to the level two or level three? We we've already bought materials for level two. We will. And that's part of the plan. This is level one because every kid is in the general classroom. So that would that will that will reach out to every student. But Jenny, you made a good point saying in respect to what you were saying, uh, that our populations in our two schools what is the majority is what you would term tier two. So three. we need our schools in particular need a, you know, a different set of. We're we're following a cookbook basically is what this is. This has been done in other school districts. It's not just this isn't our idea. It, we're parroting uh, something that they did in Kennewick, Washington, a bunch of years ago, and we have the cookbook basically of how they did it, what they did, and and how long it took them. And they're in a lot. They were in a lot worse shape than we're in. I mean, we we are in better shape. We don't have as many, as much diversity here. Uh, people speaking second languages and things like that. It's not. We're not like they were, but and it's a much bigger system. I'm talking about in in Central Washington State. So this is not. This is a incremental. Right, I was going to uh, say step by step approach to doing this, and right now we're just ramping up for the beginning of it, which is in the in the uh, fall of next year. Uh, the materials are all in the building, so we got them early so that the teachers could could look at them and start to get revved up about about what's going on. Amy was the next step, planning how we're going to do this and where they're going to be is the next step. So. I didn't use 
funds and I know. So I know. Uh, no, no. I'm not talking about exactly what uh, I, you okay. know. And then, and that's like comparing oranges and apples. Well, the, the issue, the issue with Fontes and Bunnell is something else. Our teachers were already on board with Fontes and Bunnell. They like it. They like using it. They've been doing it for years, sporadically throughout the SU. And some places had old versions, some places had incomplete versions, but they were all using it and they were all they all liked it. it and and so we had a jump start on some of that. Can I ask another question about the curriculum is with an artist here on standardized testing, we never could get answers of where we were at because we were too small. Will our scores because now we're well, because I know, like, um, if you go on real estate, it gives us a number. Yeah, yeah, I know. So will we, will, when we get better, and I truly believe we will, will they be a combined number so Stockbridge will actually hit the scale? At that time, you were using uh, kneecap scores, okay, the, right. the, uh, right. and now they're called SBAC scores or, or whatever. Right. Um, we... We're diversifying how we test so that it won't matter on numbers. It'll matter on kids, what kids get, what they need. It'll be individualized. And we're, we're not only, we're not hinging on one test. We're, we, we're going to give them a battery of things. Doesn't the state look at these tests and give us a number? Not. They don't do that anymore? Mary Ellen, get into this. Yeah. Um, I know exactly what you're saying. If you're too small, it's not We don't get my number. Right. And then Identify students in the school. Right. So, right. Yeah. You could never get how we were. Right. right. You can't do that. That's probably what's still going to happen. But if we're a district, wouldn't it be combined your numbers? That's a good possibility. I mean, I think that would be the, an easier the, tool. No, the sure. state is coming out. The state is coming out with a report card. Right. The state is coming out with a report card basically, and we're going to be judged basically on a lot of variables. They haven't been able to get it out yet. They've had a hard time getting their data together to be able to do that, but they're coming out with a report card. That's why this is timely, because we need to, we need to improve. And I get, my question was, will we combine for that? That's all, I guess, too. So uh, I don't think they can I, I don't know. I don't know. I know your question to different right tests when you find out to let us know so we know what we're looking okay. at. Do we have that right? I can tell you that the, the, the figure that that I used to generate the number in the the uh, board report, the forty four percent number, I, I actually the, the, the last Star 360 report that was given to us was broken out Rochester and Stockbridge, and so I, I you know, used the student counts and took, a, took an average to produce, to, to, to produce that. Um, but I would imagine going forward, it's going to be it'll, it'll, it'll be merged because they're separate districts or we're the same district. It's by it's by uh, it's enrolled by teacher, so you would, like a, a okay. teacher has the power to like reset the test if a kid got locked out or whatnot. So it's. It's, you know, if you were enrolled in my class, you would be on my list. So right. it would just be where I am. Okay. Yeah. The report public or the SBAC one? You're talking about the state one? It's public, the public list. information. We just have to be careful not to yeah. link it to any kids. Yeah, right. You know, right. but but numbers, the numbers are, are fine. Yeah. So and you're asking about um, SBAC testing. Are we going to be able to publish SBAC testing yeah. results? And that's what we're going to find out. Okay. They'll find out. We can't believe it if it's like it would be less. I understand, right? Yeah. Number of students well, this well, year and what's the best for next year and what sending schools we're sending to and how much those sending schools are going to fix school. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have that information. Uh, that actually, the, 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 I have not seen the new this year's tuition grid yet. That's one of the things we're going to come. But that's a nice segue because I really was giving us to eight to move into, uh, to move into discussing the annual report and uh, the, the book that we need to get, to get sent to people. Um, 808, so we should, yes, we so should move on to that. Um, I know that you gave copies of the budget to, to the public. I did. 
We've got, we've given everyone copies of uh, my last draft of the letter. We need to talk about what, what else we need to get together for the booklet. And the thing, the, the biggest thing I think is the uh, 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 7 through 12 tuition grid. You're talking about, hold on. If you look at last year's report, it's on page 19 to 20. Right. There. Um, Bruce, you provided that at a meeting oh, quite a while ago, but you only have one copy for yourself. What so was it? It this was the tuition the grid. grid that says we like last year it says uh, Middlebury was tuition of twelve thousand eight hundred seventy-five dollars. We we brought in one fourth grader. So um, you mean one you know, with yeah. student names, right? Right. No, it, it just says like Woodstock. Uh, uh, Woodstock. So we um, yeah, yeah. Middlebury. We sent three eleventh graders and two mm -hmm. and two twelfth graders at sixteen thousand six hundred seventy-three. That totaled right, that. Right, right. So we have, you know, a list of here's all the sending schools that we send to. Here's the grades that we're sending there. I can. Um, hey, Bruce. Do we have that? Looks like that. I Bruce? can um, pull it off of my spreadsheet with just what you're talking about. I've got student names. It's more like this. The bottom. Oh. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is the group we had last year. So okay. Oh, okay. Um, we could. Uh, I just realized it's gonna be a frost tonight. So okay. Yeah. Because the one I have is that student. Right. We can't. Quickly. We could. We've never. Right. We could update this and get it to you. Okay. Well, that's I'm sure. Internal to me. Not sorry. 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 Right, we're gonna do a work, yes. We would just have, we just have. Yes, this is this a for a whole district. district. Yep. No, um, I think, so we were shared this with student names, and Bonnie and I went through and edited it. They to update it and make sure it was accurate. Right, right, but that, and that was the list you used to generate the tuition lines yeah. on the budget. Right, so now we. And now we need to, for the, for the booklet, we, we, we always kind of say where we send kids to. So he's, he's trying to do this. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, I understand. Which is fine. So, um, now that I have this visually. Because I know people are kids. Can you send that to me by mid-morning tomorrow? Yeah. Thank you. So you're on this? Yep. Thank you. I'm going to send a picture to you now and ask for... Well, actually, the other thing this thing is to tell me I need something else. Then. No, I don't know. That's, 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 that's the biggest thing that I covered. I mean, we've got we've got the packet from Tara that goes through the expenditure budget, the revenue budget, and the tax sheet. This was we've got we we we've got the warning. The other, the other question I mean, we did we didn't discuss. We we talked about putting kids on the cover of the. Uh, yeah, there's an the email thing. about I that. Send yeah, you, yeah, I, yeah. See, I see. Yeah. But it's all approved. Is cover? I am going to have it to you by tomorrow morning. Yeah. I have cool. it. I just have to insert the picture. Yeah, but I just got the. I got a picture. Yeah. Quality yeah. control. Are we? Are we? Making sure that the parents yeah. are okay That's with the, yes, yeah, they've, that, that they've just that. done that. Yeah. That's what the okay. well, principals triple checked. They said yeah. okay. yes. the magnifying glass is all I'm, I'm good. I'm good as long as we've done. Okay. That. Yeah. yeah. And so oh, maybe you'll be able to. You're going to finish that. Yep. Up. Can you? Oh, absolutely. Can you back, back up? So when I flip the page, this is by individual building. Right. No. We're, we're, we can combine. You want it combined? Yes. Just making sure. Thank you. Yeah. Double checking. Um. And are you going to be able to put like the Title on the top. Oh, I'm going to do, I'll, I'll figure it out. I have got it. I just have to insert the picture, really. Yeah. I, just, I mean, it's well, really not that much four. to it. I'm gonna give you uh, do you want to do all four? I thought it'd be better to have more pictures than just one. That's what I thought. Okay. Plus, it also That's puts less emphasis. Okay. It also it puts less nice emphasis on any one child. Yeah. All right. Yeah, one school. So all well, it's, no, it's all combined. Cool. Pictures. Yeah, drink it's all <laughs> pictures of combined events. Yeah. Yeah. It's now, we, I mean, we, we, I, I think last year we decided because we were all like, let's have a motto. Last year we we called our report doing more with less. We did not. I, I do not recall. I'm sorry if I if I forgotten. Uh, no. Any kind of no, catchphrase or, or motto or, or slogan. Okay, so I will then resend this to you where it doesn't say title okay. and question mark on the top. So I'm realizing I left that part in there because I wasn't sure if we'd come up with something. Oh, and also. Oh, cool. Um, Thank you. Did you get mine, Carl? Yes. I, I emailed you. Yes. Good. I did not have time to reread. <laughs> 
I changed, I, the, the biggest change I, I did was I fixed Black change. River and I changed the sentence you were asking okay. for. The so I got home at like a little before six, you want okay. money? The other I had a quick beer and, and then, changed two things and then came here. The other question would be, um, at the end of the report, you referenced the first page that is the old part page. So oh, yeah. you're going That's to That's true. And the, it said something about the two rivers. Yes. yes. Oh, I, I, I left that paragraph in there because it's, I thought it was a nice paragraph and I didn't know if you were going to reuse the, the right. art and the title. Well, maybe we could just. Did we change Black River? River to Black, Black, yeah. Black I changed Black Rock to Black River. Well, maybe you can still leave the paragraph in there, but not um, reference the front of the book. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. I can, yeah. We, can, we can do that, and, and, and I will send that to you by mid-morning. <laughs> Thank you. And then the other piece we need to do, and this is what I had left to Frank last year, that back cover and the, oh, the yes. information so, yeah. about... Let me pull up my... I have a question on the back cover with the... Um, you had mentioned in a some string of emails from last year that there were some Stockbridge residents that pick up their mail in Bethel and Hedgefield. Right. We get with the way the way it works is okay. right. So Stockbridge has stickers. We get a set of stickers from well, Kathy Brown. Do you, so do we stuck the sticker over that where it said right. whatever that thing was. Right. Because current of, occupant. Um, right. Our, I thought we had discussed that we were not going to use the stickers this year. We were going to do Stockbridge residents, but maybe that is not realistic. How many Bethel, Pittsfield? Um, it's a fair number. It is. It's a there's there's there yeah because okay, so if you get up you get up like where the the, the ladies live up there that's all Pittsfield service. Oh. I think some people actually are Rochester. You get towards the. I'm in Pitts, I'm in Pittsfield. Oh. Right. <laughs> I'm learning things. Doesn't, doesn't no, there's, I have a lot of friends in Barnard that are Woodstock residents. Okay, Pittsfield or, or, or Woodstock, Woods, I'm sorry, Woodstock mailing address. Delivered from the Pittsfield post okay, so that just adds another um, thing that needs to be done then that I was not aware of. Right. Um, and I'll, I mean, sticker, it's, it's a couple hundred stickers. Okay, so can you take care yeah. of either getting those stickers or yeah, I can get, doing I can get, Kathy printed. Brown will give them to me okay. tomorrow. What we need, yes. Um, what we'll have to do is sticker them, and then they all have to leave from the Rochester Post Office because that's where the postal permit is out of. Okay. And so he has to weigh them and whatever he does. Sure. Do. Amy, is there a, I'm, I'm available for put together yeah, for help. stamping, stuff like Great. that. So um, let me know when. Yep. I'm hoping that we can get the book back from Spalding Press midweek next week. So oh, sure. By right. Thursday, Friday, for sure by Friday, these will be in the mail. I'd be great. Yeah, I think, they, yeah. I think they have to, back, absolutely have to, have to be in the post office up. the following Monday. But I think okay. 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 that's more than 10 days, yeah. uh, or less than a ticket. Do you want me in the hands of people 10 you days ahead of time? Yeah, OK, I mean, I can. Then that's like Saturday or Friday. I do can, though. I'd like to get the mail. Sure, no, let's get the mail. Absolutely, Jen. I'll show you how to do it. Kathy's produced the stickers and use it on a day turn around. Do you want me confluence? No, we don't have that anymore. So for last year. So anything else? Is there anything else? When we're getting to that point where it's starting. Yeah. I mean, it has to be done. But that looking at this book. Tomorrow morning. Are we doing an information event? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
very true. Uh, what was the other email? About, about the budget. Yes, yeah, so, uh, let's just finish the actual, um, anything about the report, uh, uh, logistics of the report. Where's the other picture? Okay, let's take a look at Okay. Uh, Lindy. So I, like I said, oh, I, no, I have those two pictures, but there's, there's somebody said there was ordered, another email with um, two more pictures. Uh, 1,050 booklets. He has, um, okay. He has a box. And it seemed like the town had a lot of extra, but, you know, you want to make sure everybody has one. You want to make sure. Right. And let's maybe three. go down to, you want to go down to hunt. How many do you think we had extra? I don't, I don't remember. even know. I mean. Let's go down 50. Let's go down with straight foot. Let's do a straight foot. Okay. It was 1,000. Um, and what would be nice is. Um, once these come out, maybe if, um, we could check post offices to see if anybody has just discarded theirs at the post office, and we can maybe, you know, snag, them. snag um, some of them and redistribute them at the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, um, that was so a thousand. A thousand. Oh, I can ask you. I don't think well, necessarily need yeah. the option. Well, I mean, that's I would, all I was going to do. Only one. Grab, but you know, all I was going to do is the phone books that you don't want. Just write that, uh, mm -hmm. and then just. I was actually okay. Uh, I believe I'm I like the idea of using different. So I think we have a good idea of, of uh, yeah, what we're doing. The only the, the, the only last thing we need to do, obviously, is once we get the whole all the pages put together, you got to make a table of contents. Yes, and I can. I can. I can. No, 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 no. I can do it. I'm not getting excited. Okay. Just a tuition report. And I was able to get a tuition report today, and then you are to see my board. No, I know you. I can do it now. Yep. Great. All right, and it needs to be white. That's like for the Pope. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We decided it's just going to be black and white. Or is Are we going to do color on those? The Are we doing color? Yes, if we're doing it's the kids' picture. We're doing, we're doing Let's do kids', kids, kids picture. Let's do it's color. Do yeah, yeah, okay. So that'll be color. Yeah, the and kids in the picture. past, at least, they've, uh, what's her name? Penny? Yes. Um, did you? I did. Has, has given, sure uh, right you know, has said, here's the, you know, here's the stock colors I have lots of. If you pick this one, it's cheaper. Oh, so. um, I talked to her uh, as you. far as the cover uh, color. And since we were talking about doing photos, I said, let's just do it white again. Okay. Because cool. um, since, since we're just we're trying to print color photos onto it, I should, yeah. That makes that's sense. That's OK yep. with everyone. She's getting the cover. That's all we're no, we're going to get the whole color. thing. <laughs> it is a little more expensive getting color photos, but I think pictures of the kids at this time. Yeah. That's efficient. Should we all be able to draw? I know. Yeah. Are we doing yeah. that? Certainly. Any questions? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think the public has some budget. Absolutely. This is mm -hmm. just going to be All right. Mm -hmm. so I think we're going to I understand we're under the threshold, which is fabulous. I appreciate all the work um, that you guys did to keep it under the threshold so there's no penalties, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. My biggest concern um, in the budget is public funds. Are both towns giving public funds? Is one town giving public funds? Is no town giving public funds? Last year, last year, no town gave public funds because we didn't have a legal opinion about uh, uh, whether that would violate the uh, terms of the bequests. We've gotten information back from our, uh, our, our, our law firm that um, because the amounts of monies that have historically been given, which is usually around nine or $10,000 from Stockbridge and usually somewhere around 40 or 50, uh, in, all over the place, 30, 40. Right. Um, but it's usually, it's somewhere in the, it's usually, I think the lowest, I think it's been, has been like it. 25 in the last few years, and mm -hmm. the highest has been maybe one year with 65 or something. But the Rochester Public, Trustees of Public Funds did not provide any funding to any organization. Correct. And we didn't. did not provide to the town of Rochester either. Right. Um, and it is something that they decide on in December, so. So neither town or no, Stockbridge, this year Stockbridge is giving the, their, their $9,000. Now, if you look in the middle of the letter that I circulated, uh, the, par the third paragraph down talks about how we've hired Black River Design 
And then the last sentence of that paragraph, the board intends to pay for these projects via existing school funds, uh, state grants and private grants. Barb DeHart, the public trustee in Rochester, at our last meeting when we had a conversation with her, was saying, yeah, we haven't, we haven't given money and you guys didn't push us for money. Um, we can certainly, we can, we can certainly, uh, you know, th there's money available, and their their feeling is that is that they base their, you know, we more take a recommendation from the trustees of public funds. The way it works there is more there's, you know, the the the, the board can request from the trustees. So our thinking is that as we get this project done as we as we finalize the quotes on on the generator backup because one of the big things if you notice we've we've been talking about here for a couple of years and we were going to try to get air money and we uh, we were bouncing around different ideas of how to get a generator put at this building without just adding it to a school budget so that's one of the things the, that's one of the funding streams that we're looking at to use for paying for the the, the Black River design pro project the Stockbridge generator project is you know we like I said we've got some revenues from the the, the uh, daycare sale we've got um, some building funds uh, here we've got the ability to go to the Rochester uh, uh, public funds and get money from their their bequest for education we're, we're trying to keep that to use for solving these problems rather than trying to it's a long answer I appreciate it what okay. I'd like to say I really don't think it's right that Well, that's my opinion. Okay. Um, that's, that's, I that's, think that next year, I think that this year we didn't, honestly, I don't think that we really got that conversation started early enough that they make their decisions in December. December. I think that's really uh, I'm not saying it's their fault here. because of the explanation makes total sense. It wasn't asked for it. I get it. You need to do but budget. Right. Yeah. If, if, if we're giving our building money, goal. which we save and have in a fund, we're giving that, and we're giving more and more of these public funds away, which I am all for for the students. I get it, I love it, it's a great fund for that. But I do think we have to, it's a slippery slope, and I think, you know, just to be fair, um, I think there's gonna be a lot of money needed from all these presentations to one town more than the other. And so we're getting, giving the money, I just, I think there just needs to be a little bit more or oversight on that, that's my opinion. Sure, and that's it's, 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 it's certainly well taken. I would, like I said, I, I uh, you know, there, we have we have funds that we've put away. Uh, Rochester generated seventy some thousand dollars of, uh, of of funds from selling that building, which is the district's. Um, it hasn't been spent. Right, and it's right. in a fund. It's in a fund for us to Would access. Would that be used to, to um, pay down your debt? Right. Um, I don't know. We can look at that. We, we want to spend money on educating kids, though. Right. Yeah, but and the we're, more we pay for debt, the less we have to spend on educating kids. That, that, that is certainly true. What we're not clear on, and we had asked um, a, a Ginger about uh, at the, one of the early sessions about the budget in, the, in uh, October, I think, um, was what we don't understand is, you know, if the loan is pay, you know, paying off the bond, um, understanding the rate of the bond, understanding whether it can be paid, it has to be paid in full, um, or if it can be paid, you know, can you make a, a one-time payment, can you make a partial payment, understanding how that is structured is, 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 is a thing we're, we're trying to figure out because we don't really know. Um, how long does that take to find out? Um, I don't know, I have no idea. I don't even know what bond you're talking about. The, the, the if blank you look, look on, is if there you look on our budget. There's there's a debt service, long term debt, of the, uh, the 502831, I think. Is, there, is is a, a Rochester bond after Irene? I want to say or. Uh, no. No, it was was this asbestos? I don't know. It was it was a it was a bond that uh, Rochester took out. Thousand dollars does not mean that 
question mark, just there, I think we should consider Yeah. Um, that's that's certainly that, that that's certainly a, a one way of, of, of doing things. You know, sometimes if you want a car, you take out a loan, or you, you, you get a mortgage on a house rather than saving all your money for a house. Um, it's you know it's I think it's important that we look at you know we look at our options against the bigger picture. You know. It's kind of the flip of the conversation we were having about the the, the uh, uh, um, Medicaid funds, um, where we say, okay, well, you know, we've got this money, why don't we use it? You know, the, we we don't because the opportunity cost. We might be able to use that money for something else, and we're not sure, you know, what that might be. But we're saving it, you know, because using it gets away the opportunity. Using it for one thing gets a, gives away the opportunity to use it uh, uh, for something else. So one of the things we have to think about, you know, yeah, it'd be great to pay off that bond right now. Um, it would have been great not to come into this, uh, to come into the merger with with uh, uh, there being debt at all. You know, it'd be it, it, it'd be great if healthcare didn't go up 11 percent. It'd be great if, you know, uh, if things things went well. But it, the important thing I think to look at, and what we need to to really wrap our minds around, is is it more beneficial to pay off the loan with funds tomorrow? Or next uh, next next cycle, or is it better to say we're getting a good we're we're, we're getting a good municipal bond rate? Um, it's going to be it's it, it's going to be better to you know and then the, the the rate we're paying on the bond is less than the average rate of growth of our expenses. You know, it might be better to say let's let's uh, hang on to to, to to paying that bond and use that money to to, to uh, you know pay our ongoing you know, to, to to pay our ongoing expenses. And pay off the debt over time. You know, that's why people borrow for mortgages or, 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 or borrow for big expenditures. I think the important thing is to understand is that there's a difference between secured debt and you know there's a difference between buying a house and buying a jet ski. You know, or, 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 or taking a trip to, 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 to you know taking a, a expensive vacation in New York. Henry. No. See, see where, where, where you're coming. I think it's what, what I think is, is important to say is okay. Yes, this year Stockbridge is paying in this budget. Stockbridge is paying nine thousand uh, dollars from their trustees of public funds, and Rochester is not paying any. Um, however, um, Rochester uh, uh, pays sixty percent of the tax bill. Their grand their grand list is sixty percent, and ours is forty. So should we say, well, you know? The, the the towns need to be need to be paying an, an, an average check. Forty percent of the building costs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or more yeah. than that. We w the, the 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 grand list numbers. Forty percent. You pay forty percent of. We pay we pay forty percent of the of the heating cost. They pay sixty. I mean because they of they all generate. All the heating costs. All, yeah. all of the heating. Yeah. All. It's They're all. Our building using. Right. So what's the difference? I mean seriously. So if you took the total uh, amount of the heating costs, we pay 40% of it, but how much do we actually use here? I don't know. That's what we're hoping Black River uh, Design is going to tell we us when they the study answer, our... So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanna, I'd want to. i like to take you back to the initial discussion around this generator and the couple days we lost because we didn't have any electricity here. I know it's spring now, and we've forgotten about how tough this was this winter, but... I think that in, in order to get through the winter, you're at a disadvantage, and, you yeah, know, yeah. And, and I don't want to have to be calling schools off, school off here because we're not equipped. And so. kind of on that, that How you do it is a different story. Is Rochester going to pay for the generator at Stockbridge? 
Yes. It will we didn't be ask you to. I mean, no, but we're on. 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 I guess, you know, I, I guess, guys, I, believe me when I tell you I am so naive about this budget thing, I could give it up completely. I, it goes past me. But yeah, you're working. sneaky smart about <laughs> this. You are. Just kind of sneak up. <laughs> We've been really trying to be one. Mm -hmm. And when you say it's Rochester and Stockbridge, it's really merged. We get the benefit of them selling dandelion, I am not say acres, dandelion daycare. Mm -hmm. Um, we've really been trying to stress the the unity of this, both financially and otherwise. So I think that's where we are now, um, because it's going to be back and forth. Who's going to have generated this year? Who's going to have a new roof next year? Who's going to have well, you know, all of that? Twenty-eight thousand dollar generators, a whole lot different than a whole heating system, a roof, uh, two buildings, a new kitchen. You know, I mean, we're talking about a little tiny addition here, maybe. I mean, we've just barely got these, right? They're beautiful, and I think they work really well. But that's it. Like, that was our big thing. That was our big ticket item. I didn't notice it. <laughs> you notice it. We didn't notice. Watch. I knew we were doing it, but I didn't. Very much. So we're because we were able to do that. this, which is wonderful. I mean, how we, we would have done it any, we could have done it anyway. I'm just saying, like, our $9,000 certainly would have covered it three times over. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, I really, I think that. It, I just want to say, it wasn't intentional that Rochester didn't contribute this year. It was, it was, it was completely a misunderstanding of the, the timing of the, in the calendar, and it's on our radar for next year. We need to go to Rochester Town and ask them for money in December. Like, it's very, we made it. We will. That's Barb definitely. Barb DeHart, Barb DeHart said we can ask her for money, we can ask her for money at their next meeting. That I thought that it was intentional. I don't. I understand okay. it was a misunderstanding that you didn't know you were to ask for. I get and it. also they didn't give the town any money either. The our trustees did not hand out any money. Right. I am worried about it. Right. 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 But anyway, the point is that's not my point. <laughs> <laughs> no, by his face, he doesn't I'm not know. saying it's intentional. Good point. It's not intentional. I just think that we talked about it last year. Not knowing if it was legal or not, and we didn't do it. I was just surprised that we did it this year, one sided. Like, well, I mean, and that was not us asking the Stockbridge pub, uh, trustees of public funds for it either. That was them just saying, okay, we always give you nine thousand dollars, so they just they just approved it as a matter of course. I mean, we didn't go. We did. We did not go to. Uh, to uh, Bill, uh, to Ed Edgerton and say, are we gonna get our $9,000? He just said, by the way, the trustees of public funds, you know, voted to give you that money. And as you may recall a few years ago, when we tried to say that, well, as the school board, we think the, the money that's been, been requested to the, to the schools is under the school's control, we were told no. It's the trustees of public funds who hand it out, and they did. So, I mean, I, I, I feel like it's, it's you know, I, I think perhaps if, 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 I mean, you need to talk to, I guess, talk to the trustees of public funds. Well, I guess my other point would be that if, I don't know, I feel like we're doing um, the trips, and I think it's really important. You know, the field trips are really important. It's important for these kids to have these opportunities. But are, are, are all the field trips funded the same way? Yes. They were this year. They were this year. They yeah. were last year, though, right? Our right. PTO paid for Stockbridge, and <clears throat> the budgeters were in the budget. So Correct. We paid 100% of the field trips. Last year when you were Stockbridge, Stockbridge, when you were Stockbridge yourself. Right. Right. This is our first so this year. This is our first year. And so this year, they're divided equally. All the, they are all paid for by the budget. The, the, the PTO is not paying so for what does the PT, So the, the PTO money does stuff for just our building, right? Right. Right. Okay. Right. So yeah, there's still a Rochester and a Stockbridge. The PTOs are still separate. We've tried to come together to talk about fundraising together, and we hope to, to do I that. That's great. No yeah. complaints so here. Probably happen as yeah. 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 No. That will happen. I think that's I think great. Like, issue probably. Yeah. It, as time goes on, maybe we can put an asterisk on it. Maybe. I would like. To I think so. And I think that for the yeah. Rochester trustees of public funds is typically given, you know, yeah. thirty, forty thousand yeah. dollars. I think I we have put an asterisk on how this one. 
Right, right exactly. And, and their portfolio right. didn't provide for that. Some did, it's why it's not for the handout, so they could build it up. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lindy, but I think in terms of the Stockbridge PTO this year, it's been more teacher requests that have come in. Right, teacher requests, um, individual field trips that just happened here that were not thought of last year in the budgeting process, like extras. Um, an example is the use of positive behavior um, systems. So when the kids reach a goal, we do an all school celebration. So that's an example of how the PTO has provided. Going, going, and then you play on it. On its way. Mason Lane. Finally. On its way. What? Mason Lane. No, Mason has a question behind you. <laughs> so, uh, in the potential generator proposal, was it also compared to commercial Tesla battery backup system? Because the backup systems can also produce income off of being. Read that off. Has that research been done before we jump into this fossil fuel generation? Uh, not. That's, I'm going to go with that. That's a thought. I know Bonnie. You're really testing my electrical and fossil fuel. I know somebody got honest. It's a very good question. Maybe providing a planet for these kids. No, I completely agree with you. I never Yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a really good point. Yeah, um, I don't know if that's a you can get one yeah. call Green Mountain Power. I'll give you. Send me an email to remind me, well, and I will get you the, the, the person that that that, that talks with us at, 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 at Green Mountain Power about it about about a Tesla system. I think it's very worth, definitely worth finding out more information about. Yeah. Well, that's where they do it, right? Mm -hmm. You hook into them, and they are in a sense do Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a yeah. yeah it's all, it's a, it's it's about the size of. Like the door of that cabinet, okay. and it it, it, it it runs. Yeah. It charges itself off. Of the, right. Or or off your solar. Lose the power. You got the power sitting here. So the power. Yeah. Well, they also they also they, they also Green Mountain Power also drains it. Like I have one at my house, and when I, unlike like it's when the in the winter when the sun goes down. They start to they drain down my battery like thirty percent, so that the you know when everyone comes home and turns on their lights at five thirty, they're the, the so they they're not buying spot uh, power, and then they, then they refill it at night and uh -huh. blah blah blah. But I didn't even think of that. That's something we've yeah that's yeah that yeah. I'll send you the guy that yeah. as as what do you think? Good suggestion. Love it. My, so oh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Because she might want to invite that. The only thing. But then it's faces look much better. Uh, color. Because when you put in the white, this this thing blends well, right out. So I put this color. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who, Amy. And that that plan that she <laughs> presented to us is again the start of many and, many conversations. And when we did meet, some of the recommendations that she right. thought was about uh, meeting uh, with. Um, Alternative forms of energy for backup Thank you. Uh, fuel. Uh, so thank, you thank, you so, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming. Sorry, thank like you. Oh, oh, yep. <laughs> I know we should have brought you guys to dinner. <laughs> I'm right. a little not smart after nine. Just everybody knows. <laughs> the generator idea is a very good idea. Yeah, I think it yeah. would be kind of cool. And that's the other fun. piece is, is that, you know, at various times, um, uh, you know, they're, they're, we have a flat roof and, and, and decent sight lines, so, you know, it's, it, it's putting solar on the building as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's something to think about. You know, were they doing an alternative? Was there an alternative energy? I know one of the proposals. I don't remember if it was Black River Design. I, I believe that they are they're doing. They, they are. So they are doing some. And some of it. In some of the. Right. And they've been putting us in touch. Like for example, the asbestos. That's already on the calendar. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Still I mean, I don't know about that high <laughs> school location, but it's got a nice angle. Maybe that could be a great solar field, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of our leaders uh, actually feel. So. Um, yeah. That conversation. A lot of conversations <clears throat> for. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure this is all very interesting, but I just did a cover for you. <laughs> yeah. And I just I sent it to you. Um, but I think it looks a lot better with the photos to do some color. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I put a color background. It just happens to be the standard color of Bald Mountain Theater. 
no cayenne, <laughs> no cayenne at all. But it just happens to be that that uh, brings out colors really well and brings out photos really well. So I, I'm just sending I'm sending it to you now. What did you say? You would do it much quicker and better than me. <laughs> well, I just figured. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. She just said like, can you do this? And I was like, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. I'm driving to get a dog tomorrow, so. You getting a dog? Yeah, pop in tomorrow. Dog, so bad. I'm like working on my wife's dog. So I'll so give you happy. two. For free. What? I'll give you two for free. No. Oh, that's great. I give you three cats. They have to be very specific. <laughs> no way. I don't want. I'll cats. raise you six chickens. <laughs> what? Uh, we didn't last year. No. I'm happy to put it. I can change it any way you want. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Do you want me to? Um, the other thing is, Jenny. Jenny gave me the often the date is on the front. But you put it on the day. back last time, which is yeah. fun. I mean, this makes it more about the okay, school and the we, kids. Right, yeah. the We're not having an information meeting. Okay. Do you want, I mean, if you want, right. I, I easy can put <laughs> number on, uh, well, that's date on there. Because there's a lot of meetings. Yes. And I'll talk, we should get in touch with our PTO people about uh, child care as well. Yeah. Take we done? probably also dig up uh, some kids for charity. STOC. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Jillian. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Baby. Jasmine. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Port of the Rochester. You want me to, you want to get a lot of the kids are, a lot of the kids in June is the deadline. 2019 service. So this meeting comes in kind of right into the black. What? Yeah. Okay. 40 hours a week. Or 40 hours a year. I added school. We didn't have school last year, and it does seem school is important. Yeah. As opposed to I know it's R S U D, but whereas and when you're putting the title up there. By the way, we've never come up with a title for our schools. Because we said we wanted the no, kids we to No, and we never did anything with the school. Which gets back to Wilder reminds me every time I go to, he says, when's the student council going to happen? I really like Oh, that's true. And I try that's to, true. we got a thing going, yeah, and then I, you know, yeah. yeah. Well, I think we're, I think at this point, you got still haven't audit. accepted your audits. It's got a very oh, I really yes. need you to we accept have, yes. your audits. Yes. Yes. We can, we can, uh, I'm sure we can, your town I was gonna say, really we, like I your final audit copies at their meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I read through it though. I read through it, they seem fine. Yeah, yeah so I think we're going to approve the 2018 audits as presented. Do I hear a second? second? Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of accepting the audited as the audits as presented? Uh, okay. Hi. All those opposed? All right. Thank We've accepted you the audits. Very much. Um, <laughs> building and use policy? I'm not sure what the only that thing means. on that, this is part of what Bruce was talking about. Um, in the business in the building and use policy that went out for the whole SU, it says that Bruce, as the superintendent, has to approve all no, requests. We, 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 we changed it. Yeah, no, it was we a, changed yeah. it to but, say or his his or his. But his that or wasn't me. done at the SU level and it was an SU right. driven policy. So this is part of that edits mm -hmm. he's talking right. about. Right. So, so that's what that is about. Good. And so we can that uh, pass that we can pass that by the other board. For the sake of everyone. I don't want to No. Yeah. No, I mean, that's why yeah. that's why it needs yeah. to have the language of or his or his or her designee, yeah. so like all the other policies say. So I mean, that's a consistency of policy. The two policies that we adjusted are not adopted. Though. No, they are adopted by us. They're not, but they're not. We have to have SU-driven policies. Right, so the SU would have to amend them, or right. we would have to, right. we would so have have to, to go back up the ours. chain now, or you have to accept right. what and we, the we SU really, did. It's our, both of our administrators were really very, very clear yes. that it was important um, to them to do that. So I think that probably, and says Bruce said he doesn't want to do that, probably the other the other uh, uh, boards and, and the SU board should should adopt our policy that has that, or, or yes. his or her designee. I would yes. prefer to look in the eye rather than... <laughs> And we did talk about that at the last administrator's meeting, that this was, you know, common acceptance. Right, it just, really it should not be done at the end of the So the other, we need to change everyone else's policy. So that's what that is about. Cool. That's all. Amy, I just sent the other one. By the way, I work with um, Penny all the time, okay. so if you need any changes, like if she needs to do any changes, she can call me. I'm actually going to be away next week in Arizona. Yeah, so she'll get it. Oh, okay. Well, tell her yeah, if, if there's anything she needs to just contact me and I can make quick changes to it. Yeah, you can call. I know.
two Wait, things. There's one more thing. This is me. I missed the amendment part of the task. Oh, we still got to talk about this money. So yeah. this is the one bid that came in for the job. Right. How do you want to proceed? Well, let's let's figure out if we, if we want to get a generator or the batteries. We're going to call them, we're going to give you the number to call it Green Mountain Power okay. to get some information. More research. So, so not yet. No we're going to have winter. I mean, I'll, I will say these, Come these, no. <laughs> well, they're not going to put it in until summer anyways, right? I know, but it's Summer's, it's almost right summer. Now. He, wants to, he wants to make a sale? He wants to close out the sale, which is fine. But the other thing I think we need bye to bye. pursue is, Thank you. one, are we going to approach the town of Stockbridge about this? It could make us... Uh, Emergency. emergency warming shelter mm -hmm. and to the the benefit of this company in my opinion is they seem to in other documents they said they have a lot of experience working on getting that emergency grant funding with it to, mm -hmm. but that only does a certain research based on research well that was one of my big questions is one is we can ask for is the stockbridge school a designated emergency shelter at this point that's what i know Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I do not know officially. I believe we are. Right. It's, and I just, think it gets. We let the select board guy get out of here without asking the no. question. Oh, no. So no. it kind of the, the, it opens up. We need to. It opens up a lot more. Well, where? Because you know, is a soccer town shelter. There should maybe be some. I think it's got to be a warming station. I don't think you can say shelter because we don't have showers. I'm not sure okay. where we would put cots and blankets. But there's there's grants, like you said, for this. Right, there are right still for the warming station right. portion. And then, right. This is where my understanding is. This is where everybody came during. Where the else meeting. would they go in town? I don't know. Uh, the historical no. building, maybe. Right, but they don't have a generator either. This is where everyone came. Yeah. That's what I mean. What That's about what about downstairs in the church? Which church? The one in the green, you know, right by the, the cemetery. Yeah, the right. meeting house. It's not safe right now. <laughs> they had to like move their town meeting. The Pittsfield green? No, no, no. no. That's the Stockbridge. The one that's up on the, oh, the, the hill. The right the green board, yeah. The yeah, up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's. I don't know where it is. That's not as long as this. Kidding. No, there's not a lot. I don't know. Okay. Um, can we? Okay, so we're going to figure I, out I, I, about I, I, this I, I, Tesla. Yeah. Jim, we need to select. We're going to yeah. ask about the Tesla battery. We're going to figure out a plan to go to the select board. And cause it should be a unified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and at that point, um, we do have a Rochester shelter team. I don't know if they could be a resource for for. Well, that's part of it. If we yeah. were to get grant funding, you have to have this emergency team. Or whatever. Yeah. What you just called that. Okay. Can we okay. move on? Yeah, I think the only thing left to do then it's, is. Uh, yeah, Amy, can you? What you did you talk okay? to Bonnie about? about? Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. The scholarship slash um, awards and <laughs> what we're talking about now is at our high school graduation, the local community um, uh, the Valley players or ITI would give money as a form of a scholarship to graduating seniors. Um, I have you actually heard of um, businesses that are saying I have I, I still want to no they haven't gotten back to me yet yeah so okay. um, um, yeah. what Bonnie really recommended and she saw this in um, the lane merch and or in other instances where the high school was um, you close yeah. um, that they set up a scholarship committee that would like um, I was thinking the PTO that would go to the businesses and and say you know we're interested in we're going to do a scholarship or a, an awards dinner for or, or, or you know give out awards is, if you're interested. Um, the, the the second part of this, which I think is the the question was raised to me, was um, was were we planning to do anything to honor graduating? Um, high school students okay. from our towns, which of course would, if you don't have an event, it's a lot different giving a gift and having it, putting a check in the mail and sending it something as opposed to having it a public event where people could go. The other option is to create 
scholarship description that's only eligible for Rochester yes. oh. residents and send it to the schools the school. that but students we, go and then they are we, recognized and that was their, the second part but, yeah. but the other thing is like there's one more but there are the funds that are still in there that are being trusted the trustees of the town the scholarship funds yeah the scholarship the, funds the trustee scholarship and that money is just there and that was the and that's more significant money but sometimes. again um what lindy reminded me of the second part of, it was a while ago i talked to bonnie but what they would do is every school that our students are going to they would then contact um their scholarship department and say we have a scholarship for a Rochester resident of this amount. So you send, so like, I'll give an example, where I went to high school, it was five different sending elementary schools, and this is Vermont, and there's this big packet you picked up from the guidance office for scholarships, but there are a lot that because I was from Bristol and not Lincoln, I couldn't apply for. They were only for a Lincoln graduate, and it's just a description, and then what happened is the application would get kicked back to you of all the Rochester kiddos and then you would make however that was previously decided I don't know. Right. It was previously decided by the um, teachers okay. who got right. Rochester scholarships and so in this case it would need to be yeah, some kind of um, yeah. committee yeah. that decided who of all the applicants in all the schools that they're going to who receives which mm -hmm. scholarship. So and then they would get it at their accepting school. At their accepting school on their however right. they yeah. Right. Yeah. However they are not Rather than it being a separate uh, trying to recreate and trying to be nostalgic about. The issue being that this person's daughter, this guy's daughter, is graduating this year. Right. I don't think so, it's too late. So wh what do I tell him? You don't think it's too late to if get there's a scholarship, scholarship to a to a school, but we don't even have the application. So what do uh, we do? I mean, we have we don't have an application made up. Well, you tell them we're working on it. Right. You can what? post tell it and just say, it. Like, we "Well, send no, a I am. I, that's I already did. That's what we I told them." We send a we cover letter and a resume, and the in the cover letter it has to include future Who's plans. Who's he sending it to? You, we would send it out to guidance counselors typically of all the schools that you're kid, and then just have them send it to the. For me, it's a Rochester School Scholarship Committee, and then it could just be collected. Well, we need to tell everybody, not just right. One so you right, have, exactly. that's why you would use guide. You could put it on social media. There's a lot of typically right. it funnels yeah, through the but, guidance. But how do I? Where's the list? I don't even know the list of right, the available scholarships. Do we know which what there are? I mean, were they well, were they in the graduation we'll program? See some of them are. Uh, again, yeah. there's there's different. Right, well, no, I know there's different ones, but there are the, the ones I'm most concerned about because I I can call ITI and I can figure that out and I can call the players, but I can't. I, I don't know what funds in the trustees of public funds that, that Rochester has are scholarships. The Kirkpatrick scholarship, we I know, is just one. Right, I have, it's have inside one, you one have of our list. books. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, then I so would need it because I would need is to. The criteria. When we had a high school. I need the I need the, the form that they filled out to apply for that scholarship is what it is. Mm -hmm. well, you need a description of the scholarship because the description of the scholarship typically tells you what the criteria. I wonder. Like, well, you you have to be well, in a we, I wonder if Lisa would have this. Should we have she does. something though from she the really high school? She has okay, I think I've, okay, I think I've solved this. I think Lisa if Lisa, binder, Lisa would have this. What the scholarships yeah. are. And I mean, I have a. a but I'm just saying, here, all I need. That's not what. No, no, no. I need an application and right. I need a description, well, and then I need to get that information to the guidance counselor of each high school of any graduate senior from Rochester well, and then Stockbridge sure money to give out Stockbridge are there no Stockbridge never had a high school yeah so you yeah know. No. Like, you don't want to falsely advertise but, like, you but we, as we're one school should that scholarship be available to Stockbridge I think been established pre -head. sometimes it typically sets It'll say Rochester it resident scholarship. Stockbridge. well but this of course is not the issue for an ITI scholarship or a player scholarship right if it's a newly created one that's well, no, these ones have been around right. for a while. Well, okay. What, yeah, there's two different scholarships. We're talking right. about uh, established funds, mm -hmm. and then we're also and talking then, about that on a business yearly, a business ish. would say, yes, we're going to give a $500. Which, and I don't know if Lisa, Lisa hasn't checked with all, she has the list, 
the binder of all the um, scholarships and awards that we have given out. Mm -hmm. um, but she hasn't gone through them to make sure that people are, well, not everyone, right. to make sure that they're still willing to. No, I, I said I would go, well, once, I, now that I, once I have that list, <clears throat> then I will go and actually call the businesses and see if they're still interested. Well, I would in recommend that. also maybe contacting um, I mean, it, it, is it the guidance counselors in these other schools? I mean, it's pretty late. We're, it's May already. Yeah. Have they, well, I got this. Yet? I got this email, and I sent it out to you a month yeah. and a half ago. Okay. So I didn't get any response. So that's why I was waiting for the next meeting. Right. So. Um, I mean, you, you a lot of the scholars. I mean, I, I having, no having had a couple, uh, a, a couple kids go through that whole process. I mean, a lot of times. The, the, the application is, you know, write an essay of less than, of not more than 500 words or 600 words okay. describing your, 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 right. your and goals and aspirations and dreams for college. Usually. And, you know, the, how long did it take to make the decision? You okay. Know? So we do have until probably, right. if graduation if is we like, could, I mean, if you, you want, want to jump or something. You, you can send a letter to, to the, the parent. Need to be help of those be kids. this committee because I'm just not sure we're gonna be able to pull together a committee so quickly. Yeah, to, read, to, to, to read, you know, uh, right, I think you, know, you should, is, you right, should well, send then. a letter to the parents of these kids because seniors are not terribly motivated no, not. at the end of this at the end of the year and. Yeah. The parents are motivated because they've got yeah, college bills parent. coming yeah, up and other things. Yeah. <laughs> so you make sure they know that those scholarships are out there right. because the kids on their own, and I'm just. All right. And well, so and a letter to parents, too. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like a list. Rochester's and then um, get in touch with Bonnie as well. Uh, scholarship, scholarship committee. I mean, it could just be us at this point, but it, you know, going yeah. forward, it would, you know, right? Well, I think, it, I think the letter, the letter should come from Bonnie, right? Or, uh, well, that's the board. thing. Who's administering these? Well, that's it. That we just board. need to know. So yeah, or as us. I mean, I would think. Okay. I mean, did the, did the in the past did the. Did was it just decided by the administration and, yeah, and, and teachers. teachers? Mostly teachers. Mm -hmm. so which so are not. Like a, but the not anymore. It, so it, wasn't, it, it, never was an, it never was an application process before. It was. Oh, I don't know. In high school, I, I'm sure it was. It was in Bethel. But an application process in our high school. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, think, I think there was an application process when I taught. But Lisa yeah. would know you're saying. I'm hoping. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> if I, she doesn't, yeah. we're. Or, uh, she does have a binder, and yeah. I've seen it. You've I've seen, seen it because the PTO was approached last week about the scholarship. Because I mean, we didn't give much, but we did give something. Who approached you about a scholarship? Um, I, th I think Bonnie came to our meeting just sat, and we kind of had a, a brief discussion about. And this is for seniors. For if, whether or not it was going to happen. Oh, okay. And what, after I had that conversation with Bonnie, it didn't seem as if like we were going to be moving forward at least this year. With the PTO, like hundred dollar. How many award. seniors do we have? Any idea how many seniors we have in Rochester? It should be on that little chart, right? Because we're sending. Them. Right. Have we got that little chart? Yeah. 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 We just asked you to make two seconds ago. This is. Wait. What was published last year says only three. 12th graders. Three seniors. Or, sorry, five. Yeah, they're going to make it. <laughs> and the winner is, yep, you again. I think um, this just brings another point. Like, having that, just like that overview calendar of yes. the school year for the school board mm -hmm. that we need, like, okay, if we're going to continue school doing. board calendar. Uh, so, yeah. if we're going to be doing, yeah. you know, we if we need to ask for public That's funds, really good you idea. know, okay, yeah. November, yeah. December, yeah. we need yeah. to go to the select board or whatever planning board or meeting. Yeah, yeah. Well, as well as. When in, that in, thing when we have to drive. buy out teachers yeah, and all like that a, kind of just stuff. Just like on the there. generic, so if, if it's not even us, like, we're saying 10 years from now, this is something that the board can work with 10 years from now. Okay. It's just a template that says, Who's gonna do that? you need to do this right now, or well, you're going to miss the Maybe we could wait. We could also wait till after the annual meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, is, this is the, exactly her reorganization. Idea. But I think it's a really good idea because. That way we don't miss things like yeah. like scholarships for kids. Like if we, you know, we'd we, we be like, okay, in February, February we're going to send out yeah. a letter to parents right. saying these are our right. scholarships. So we're not putting that on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Another one.
Another fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Go ahead. Well, yeah, of course. Ten. Uh, yeah. These were, uh, these were the, the uh, addition to the agenda. Addition. 7.3. So we, we've kind of uh, been jumping around a little bit and accommodating the, the, the people over here. I think we're actually wrapping up the meeting. I think we've now talked about everything. So number 10. Number 10, public comment. True, sure, we have public comment number three, but we can do number 10 yeah, public comment too. Yeah. It's nice to have it at the end so that we go. First, the beginning and the end. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Do you have a comment? Go ahead, Mason. Hello. The camera's going to ask us. <laughs> Yes, public comment. Public comment. Absolutely. Comment. Can you stand in front of the camera so the camera can see? This, this is just a follow-up uh, related to taxpayers and communication. What's going to happen with that marquee that we tore down and threw in behind the building? Uh, it had to be taken off because it was in private property. Yeah, yeah. yeah that whole thing was another whole mistake. It doesn't matter if you take it off. It's a matter of putting it where it works mm -hmm. for the community instead of getting piled up or sell it and recycle it. I don't think anybody's thought it, about it. Utilize it. The marquee, no, 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 no. Marquee? The marquee was the, the thing that used to stand up. So the board sign. wanted they could change the lettering on, you know, and like give announcements and stuff. Assignment. And it was on private property. So it has I think there's a Bonnie assignment here. That, yeah, we've, I, don't you think it's I a Bonnie know. assignment? Can we, can we put, Bonnie's not here. Let's make her figure that out. Okay, well, there's one wonderful place. Move one of the cement blocks. Put it right there. No, we can't, where the buses are, that's still private property. Buses are in property. And you want to see it from we'll 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 we